today with three birds and one stone. Coming up, it is right now, it is 209. And we are nearing the beginning of our show. But we're gonna we have a few more songs left to play, and you know, ladies and gentlemen, our our good old fans know the the song that we like to play. Chain of Fools coming up next after Dreams by Fleetwood Wet Flea, Flea, Fleetwood Mac. But we will be right back here after the break. We'll see you in a second.
Ladies and gentlemen, to WUDR Dayton here on 99.5 or Flyer Radio. I'm Joe Sullivan alongside my partners, Andrew Wagner Wags, the man, the man, and Money Mitch. Money, money. (laughs) (laughs) And ladies and gentlemen, that's right. You're listening to Three Birds and One Stone here on WUDR Dayton. And it is a special day. You know, it's, it's a nice day in March, right before spring break, starting next week. And it's good to be back for another week here so good in to March. Be back. And we have a very, very, very special guest here. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Shelby. We've been talking about her all through the show. Shelby, yeah. welcome to the show. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Welcome. Finally, I've been waiting. Welcome to the show. Um, Thank you. It is so good to have you, Shelby. Thank um, you. I believe it was like two or three weeks ago. We had we gave Shelby like a scouting report on her <laughs> on her art, on her art street. You know, just fanatics. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Yeah. We um, will. But we were like, gosh, we have to get her on. Like it, mm-hmm. this is it's been really the top of the list getting Shelby here. Um, and it's so good to have her here. Just a, just a nice nice way to go out before spring break and especially. Yeah. Oh yeah, we just been on a roll. Out. It's been it's been super fun as of late. We've had a lot of great guests on. Um, last week we have Me- we had Megan Shipley. She was fantastic. Um, per then, usual. Per usual. Yep. <laughs> classic. <laughs> classic <laughs> ship. Um, and then uh, EJ came on a little bit later. He was our first back to not back to. I guess he was back kinda to back. 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 Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Came back on, and um, it's always fun to have him. So. Again, it is a beautiful day here um, in Dayton, Ohio. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Three Birds and One Stone on WUDR Dayton. And you can follow us on Instagram at Three Birds One Stone. The, the one, one is a number. The one is a number. It's a number. Way. And we apologize to all our fans out there. You know, somebody has our, our one spelled out taken for yeah. that name. We don't, want, we don't want it, though. Which, yes. Well, it's like, I think it's a um, shirt company, but they're Probably. under the water, I'm pretty but sure. But they, I, they better be underwater because we possibly <laughs> may have some t-shirts in the making ourselves. I was going to say, um, you should pair up with them. Right? Yeah, exactly. Do a little collab. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, make sure to follow us on Instagram um, and, you know, for keep, keep up to date for our content. Uh, we will be posting stuff about Shelby. As well as we, you know, kind of hinted at it last week, and we still have yet to post it. Yeah, we uh, didn't we've, need to we've post We've been that. slacking a little bit, but our interview with Aaron from Cousin Vinny's, the man behind the Instagram account for Cousin Vinny's, um, which we will get on that as well. But uh, we have the full podcast out, um, and I believe he's posted about it a little bit mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh, man, it was, it was just a great, great interview. Just though. a great yeah. interview. Need great to get time it out with there. him, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just... Uh, a great day with Aaron, and again, we appreciate him so much for coming out um, with us. And it, it was a good one; it was a great one. And uh, it's good to be back here in the studio, though, because you mm-hmm. know we, this is this is our home. As much as you know, it's the bird's nest. It's right? the bird's nest. <laughs> it is yeah. the bird's our nest. Three birds are here. <laughs> and we have we have our stoner of the week, and it's stoner Shelby. of the week. And Shelby, um, again, thank you so much for coming on. We have so much to get into, and uh, uh, man, h- how are you doing? How's your day today? My day has been good. good, actually. So I have class downtown at the Hub. Mm, and really? It's really, like two, of, two of them. Back wow. To back. And my one, my first class got out like 45 minutes early. So a group of like six of us, we just like roamed downtown. Nice. And like saw everything we hadn't seen. It's cool though. That's like sweet. We don't realize like there's a lot of cool aspects of downtown. I mean, we walked all the way to the Oregon District. Mm-hmm. So we were like deep that's, that's in there. That's pretty far, right? yeah. Yeah, I mean, we went shopping. Like we did it all. Um, but it was fun. My day's been good. Then I had class, and now I'm here. And there's the free food drive um, outside of our street, yeah. too. Shout if out you're them. listening and you go to UD, stop by. I think they're there until 2.30. Yeah, it looks and like they're, they're getting low on stuff, yeah, but they're still going. Thing. Yeah, They're going to throw everything out that um, 
that nobody takes. So go right. get some groceries. For Come get some soup. They're yeah. really yeah, trying they, to get me to take some, some soup. soup. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a good day. Good. Thanks, that's, Joe. That's awesome. I mean, the hub. I mean, that's so interesting. I've I just just oh. kind of found out about this year. They had. Is there a coffee shop up there called yeah. the so the startup ground? Got startup you. Ground. So it's actually it was a normal just like little cafe place mm-hmm. in the hub. And now it's part of Flyer Enterprise. Right, yeah. And so it's all students that work there. I mean, like, there's a kid in my class who's actually a manager there, so he works before and after class there. Wow. And the good thing about there is they probably get a lot more cash sales Mm. because it's all people that are working in the hub. Right. They have some good stuff. They have coffee, matcha, lattes, and then they have food. I was going to say, don't they have food? Yeah, Yeah. they have sandwiches. I haven't tried it yet. I really should. Um, But, yeah. That's interesting. I I bet they have some good breakfast. I feel like Flyer Flyer Enterprise is... That's pretty good with they breakfast. They do. Yeah. They do good breakfast. I've never had breakfast here at our street. Um, and I mean, have you worked any? Well, let's, we'll get I've into that. I've worked it all, Joe. Yeah. I've, I've worked you've it all. have seen it all. And <laughs> I do want to get into that. We have so much to talk about with Arch Street. Um, yeah, just because we've talked about Arch Street. We talk about Arch Street probably every show that we have. Oh, we got it. Yeah. I think yeah. we have. Um, think Springsteen have. gets mentioned yeah. at least once a week. And oh, yeah. We, it has we, to. We do have a live Springsteen review coming up from, from me and Wags um, <laughs> during the show. So make sure to, you know, stay tuned into that. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about you, Shelby, just in, in you know, in general. You're from New Jersey. And you know, from New, Jersey. New Jersey is is an interesting place. It's, it's a long way. <laughs> it is a long place from here, yeah. um, and I'm sure it's a little different out here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about you know your background and and kind of how you ended up here at Dayton. Okay, so you want to know it all? All right. Yes, give it to us. So I was born uh, just near the town where I'm from. It's called Hazlitt, New Jersey. It's actually where Sammy Sweetheart is from on the Jersey Shore. Mm-hmm. If you've watched Jersey Shore. That's where she's from. Move this in front of you. Sorry. Okay. Thanks, Mitch. <laughs> um, oh, it's so much louder now. I hear it. Yes. Um, and so I lived in Hazel my whole life. Fairly small town. Everybody knows each other or whatever. And then um, I also danced nearby. So I knew a lot of the girls and the dancers from other towns, things like that. You know, grew up dancing at school, studio, going to high school with, like, the same group of kids, basically, my best friends. Mm. Um, I mean, I just grew, I grew up on the Jersey Shore. I worked at a boardwalk mm. from when I was, like, 15 to 17. I was a manager. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely different from, like, the work experience that people get in, like, the normal, like, restaurant industry. I worked in, um, on, like, a... A pavilion, like, bar and grill. Mm-hmm. And the boardwalk where I worked at wasn't necessarily, like, somewhere you would want to go for, like, a pretty, like, aesthetically pleasing vacation kind of thing. But it was, like, that was the spot to be, like, growing up. Like, right. I remember my mom kind of being a little iffy about letting me work there just because the area that it's in. And I was like, Mom, I got to work here. Like, it was just all, everybody I knew was working there. That was the spot to be. I mean, we would hang out. It's right on the beach. Like, hang out on the bay mm-hmm. after you know, do the whole shebang. Um, and it was a good time growing up there. I really enjoyed it. But then, you know, you get older, things fall out. But even, like, every summer, like, last summer I went home, did the same thing. Like, yeah. went mm-hmm. stopped at the boardwalk a few times. We hang out on the beach, like, almost every night. So it's a good time. <sighs> yeah, Gosh, it, it sounds like a special place. Yeah, yeah, just kind of like a, a nostalgic place that you can always kind of go back to. Yep. Um, yeah. And you, the memories there, I can only imagine, right, oh, yeah. that you have. You know, coming from New Jersey, tell me a little bit about, I mean, what... <laughs> You know, you're a senior in high school, you're looking at schools, yep. and you're thinking, man, like, where do I go from here, yep. what, you know, leaving home? How did you end up here, and, and what else was on your list? Like, was, was this always on your radar, how did you hear about Dayton? So, I wanted to go down south. Mm. I was set on going down south. It's a big thing in Jersey. A lot of kids go to Florida, they go mm. to South Carolina, and they go to Alabama, they go to these big southern schools. They go anywhere but Jersey, really. They go anywhere, but and if you stay in Jersey, <laughs> it's just, you know everybody. Like, everybody knows each other. Like, right. you can't really... You know, differentiate yourself from anybody else. Yeah. And I knew from the jump, I knew I did not want to stay in Jersey. Mm. That was my thing. I applied to a few schools there. You know, my mom tried to get me to visit, and I just, it just wasn't for me. So I had applied to a bunch of schools down south, Wake Forest, South Carolina, Clemson, mm. all those schools. I applied to Rutgers. Yeah. Um, but I knew I didn't want to stay in Jersey, so it ended up just dwindling down, like, financially and dance-wise, because dance played a big factor in where I wanted yeah, to go to school. Really? Another good and point, so, yeah. Right, and so, South Carolina, too expensive, you know, Rutgers, I got into their dance program, hated the campus, didn't want to be in, New, like, New Jersey. Mm. So, everything financially and dance-wise just, like, started to not really work out how I wanted it to. And I remember, it had to be, like, a month before decision day, because I'd already applied to most of the schools that I had applied to. And I'm like, Mom, have you ever heard of University of Dayton? And she's like, (laughs) and my dad's like, oh, I know, yeah, yeah, basketball. He starts talking about over the top and whatever. 
I'm like, I have no clue what this school is. So I remember going into school and saying, does anybody know about University of Dayton? <laughs> and nobody knows about University of Dayton. <laughs> and so finally I'm like, all right, whatever, I'll apply. It was free. Yeah, I was like, I'll apply. And things That's just... That's how I applied. Right. A lot of people free. did. It was a free waiver, like you might as well. Mm -hmm. And everything just starts dwindling down. Like, I, everything was just not working out in my favor. I got rejected from Wake Forest. I wanted to go there. Rutgers didn't work out. You know, I didn't make... University of Delaware was where I thought I was going to go. I mm. made it to the final the round. Other UD. The other UD. The other UD, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, my best friend was already committed there. Mm -hmm. And I thought that I was going to dance there. I made it to the final round of their auditions, and I got dropped. Mm. Which is hilarious, because the girl who made it, not necessarily over me, but one of the girls who made it actually ended up quitting like a few weeks into the school year. Wow. But so I ended up not making it, which... I wasn't necessarily surprised, but I was just upset because I really, really wanted to be on like mm. this stri like strenuously hard dance team. Right. I wanted All that in. to be my life. Right, exactly. I didn't want to be able to do extracurriculars and things like that. I wanted school and dance. I was used to that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so finally, it's the week before decision day. And I'm like, I had done um, a dual enrollment program where I came in with like 60 credits. I came in with my associates. So mm -hmm. I was already ahead. So I'm thinking maybe I'll take a gap year, you know, just work, figure out really where I want to go. Because at this point I'm like, I really am not passionate about any of these schools without dance. That's what was, you know, drawing me to go to these schools. And mm -hmm. I didn't like them without being able to dance there. Right. So it's a week before decision day. And I remember that, like having this conversation with my mother and saying, you know, maybe we should just go out to Ohio. And in my head, I'm looking at a map, and I'm like, oh, Ohio's like five, six hours. I mean, that's a ten and a half hour mm -hmm. drive almost, like, with the stops even. Like, yeah. I mean, it could be oh, long. Yeah. Right. And my mom is like, are you really sure? Like, And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go see it. And my dance studio owner, she actually had a family that went here. Okay. She had family who came and visited when they were a freshman in college from U Miami. Mm. In Florida, U Miami, right, oh. and transferred because of how much they liked it here. Wow! Ooh. So that was how I was like, all right, maybe there's something really special about the school. And so, you know, my studio owner, she's like, you got to go check it out. I'm like, mom, we got to go check it out. We drive a week before decision day. Keep in mind, that's insane. And in the car, I remember thinking, like, you know, I kind of feel bad. I'm making my mother drive ten hours <laughs> on a random like <laughs> Friday afternoon. Um, and I just remember getting here. We stayed in the hotel, the Marriott, whatever. And we didn't do a tour. I didn't do anything official. We did it all ourselves. We parked on a Saturday morning. I remember watching kids go down in like their cute little day drinking outfits. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, and the, the, there was one thing that really drew me to the campus and it was on um, Stew Hill. And these two girls were walking past each other. And all they said was like, hi. I just remember them saying like, hey, blah, blah, blah. How are you? Oh my God, how are you? And I was like, that's so cute. And then mm -hmm. all I noticed, I wasn't even paying attention to the campus at this time. I'm paying attention to the people. And everybody is saying hi to one another. And I was like, this is so sick. Like, this is so cool. Then I'm like, I, I mean, I really like it here. My mom, I could tell, like, she's like, wow, it's a great campus. But, you know, there's there's a lot of leaves. They're, like, starting to try, <laughs> yeah. like, try to, like, like, draw me away from it. You know, and she's like, well, what about this? What about that? The area, this and that. And... On the way home, we had drove, uh, driven through Pennsylvania. And so we stopped at Susquehanna, which is like this little you know, like college in wherever, Pennsylvania. And I have a few friends that go there because they they're, they give a lot of money. And so mm -hmm. I would I would have literally been paying nothing. And my mom was like, let's just go see, you know, people, whatever. Right. We I didn't even get out of the car. We drove on. I said, get out of here. I was like, this is not where I'm going. We got <laughs> home. Walked into my kitchen Sunday night. My dad is like, well, like, what, what? And I said, oh, I'm going there. My wow. mom is hysterical. Cry. I mean, like, I, I knew as soon as I came, I was like, I'm going to come here. But I just think it's funny because... I had never heard of it. Then I then I found out it was Dayton and not Dayton. <laughs> so I had to make sure to share that with everybody at school. Right. And I remember, too, when I had gone in stressing about dance to my dance teacher, because I took dance instead of gym. I mean, dance was my life. So right. I go into her, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where I'm going to dance, blah, blah, blah. And... I just remember yelling in, in the middle of like our dance class, I don't want to go to the University of Dayton. I want to go to U University of Delaware, blah, blah, And I just think it's so funny how everything worked out. And yeah. it's like all my friends and like just the kids in my grade in general, like there's only a handful of us that actually ended up like really enjoying our schools. And everybody thinks it's so funny because there's a bunch of them who were like, Diehard Rutgers fans, since they were a kid, they went there, they hated it. Mm -hmm. Went to, you know, Florida, Alabama, hated it. And it's just like, I just, 
landed here Thriving. on like the flip of a coin and right. I'm like obsessed with it so right. that's awesome I and feel like that's how Dayton finds its way mm-hmm. to everyone mm-hmm. and yeah. it's, it's usually just that like free application like just throw it out there yeah and then once you get on this campus it's something about the it's something in the air here it's whatever's making those sunsets yeah. so yeah. like pretty and stuff like that too <laughs> and I think it's amazing how you just were like why not right it's a right. week mm-hmm. the fact yeah. that it was a, you know just a week before decision day yeah. like let's give it a shot yeah. right let's give it a try it's just awesome tell me about a little bit about the dance aspect I think that's super interesting because when you look at you know college dance across the country yeah. I mean there's some diehard programs that are yeah. all where it's like yeah. all in right mm-hmm. and Dayton is a little different tell me about mm-hmm. kind of like when you came here for a visit did mm-hmm. you what did you know about the dance program what right. was like okay this is you know something that I, I you know want to continue doing dance but yeah. again it's not going to be my entire life life yeah so one thing about dance that's really interesting is there's like two different realms so there's one realm where it's more artistic and it's a lot about the creativity behind it and then there's the athletic part of it and so like college dance teams like osu i mean that's the best dance team in the country Mm. those kind of dance teams those are those are athletes you know what i mean like they're there to train like an athlete then there's a creative kind of dance where they're still athletes but they're their motive and their goal is like creating art on stage. Right. So they're not going to be at like your football games, you know, like with pom poms on the side yeah. kind of thing. And so I wanted to be on a dance team. That was my thing. When I had gone into Mason Gross School of the Arts at Rutgers, that was when I was like, maybe like the artistic side of it is more for me too. Like I could do both, I could try both. And so that was one thing that also I liked about Dayton was I knew coming in that there was a dance ensemble. And I knew that there were options for dance. There's club dance. There was the dance team, whatever. I had DM'd the dance team and been like, oh, when are your tryouts? Um, just like trying to get more information. Mm. And I was a little iffy about it because it was student run. Mm. So I knew it was, you know, I didn't know how like people would perceive it here. I didn't know if it was like going to be mocked or if people were like, oh, you know, that's nothing like that we respect kind right. of thing. Mm. And so when I came, I actually joined the dance ensemble here, which is part of the theater performance technology. Mm. Um, is it a class? It's not a class. It's, it's like a... More of like contemporary dance, yes, it's, right? Yes, it's Where a contemporary like, dance. Think of like dance moms, right? Yes, Stuff kind like of that. thing. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like a, it's like a club, basically. It's an ensemble. Right. And so it's they actually artistic. have their show this week. Right. And it just wasn't for me. I mean, they... I love doing that stuff, but it was just the time... It was Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday mornings. Mm. Oh, and this was, like, right. was this early on in freshman year? This was year? first thing I did freshman year. Wow. That was the first place that I went to at Up the Orgs, like, mm. where we're finding out about all the clubs. That was right. the first thing I did. I mean, my parents came, visited. Like, my mom and da- my mom came, watched the practice. Like, I really did like it. It just wasn't, it wasn't my kind of thing. And so then I did dance ensemble and the dance team here at the same time. But UD dance team is a club sport. So we're under campus rec, mm. not like the athletic department. So, right. you know, mm-hmm. we're not a D1 sport technically. Right. Um, you're D1 to us. You're D- yeah, we are D1 to <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, everybody loves us here. I'm being yeah, serious. It's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. But so I joined that. I joined everything I could possibly dance wise. Club dance, dance team, that was club sport and the ensemble. I ended up dropping the ensemble, which I hated quitting. But I just really, I didn't want to do it anymore. I wasn't for it. Saturdays during the day, you know, I like to, you know, have a social life, hang out with my friends, and I just felt like I couldn't do that. I would go from dance team practice to dance ensemble on Wednesdays or vice versa, whatever. Um, So I joined the dance team. I met Sophie and Emma Mm -hmm. and we, and Macy Buck. Um, But me and Sophie and Emma, like immediately, they were best friends. And I actually met them the first night of school and we didn't remember it. But that's when we became like, we knew we wanted to like change dance team right because we all kind of had the same motives where we were like we wanted something bigger we just it didn't happen for us that way like sophie didn't end up trying out for a bunch of d1 big college teams or like even d2 big college teams anything like that so we all knew from immediately from like the first week of practice we were like we want more for this team Mm. um so you know when we started freshman year we did maybe one or two basketball games like very limited opportunities And then Kendra, who's a senior now, she's an education major, she became president last December. So, you know, uh, what is that, fall 2022 and spring 2022, that whole Mm -hmm. year she was president. And she really did her best to, like, like... Make give dancing the opportunities we deserve. So she would, re- I mean, she would reach out to everybody she could possibly reach out to, and she, I mean, we would start dancing at volleyball games. Like we were doing really where we could, whatever we could, yeah. exactly mm-hmm. because we wanted it. And even then, I was like, I know Kendra's busy, and I know like, you know, she can't do, she can't make it what she wants because 
it's a club team. Like, this is student-run, student-run for a reason. Mm. So, you know, you can't just say, we're going to start doing this all the time. No, this is a democracy. Like, everybody's got to agree. And so I feel like she was a little bit nervous to, like, make that initial jump because she didn't want to upset the team, which is a good leadership, like, uh, move to make. You know what I mean? Mm. So then I ran for president this December, got president, and the first thing I did was email the athletic department. Mm. Like, I emailed him, and I was like... You know, like, I i mean, it was this was a hefty email. Mm. And I just basically explained, like, you have this basketball team who we admire, like, with hands open, eyes wide. Like, they're getting every, every opportunity, every resource possible. And then you have this dance team that is just so, so much potential. Mm. And we just don't get the opportunity. And so when we came back, I had met with the director of, assistant director of marketing for the arena. So he basically books, like, all of the like half time shows, yes, stuff all like that, that stuff. Yeah. And he had to outline to me like every reason why we couldn't dance at everything. So like soccer, like there's reasons why we can't dance there. The groundskeepers, like the, right. the ground, right? Yeah. We can't be on the the court side for the basketball because of the fire department. And so like there's mm. all these rules and regulations as to why we can dance. And I was like. I understand that, but that's not enough for us. Like we need you need to open up a new opportunity then. Right. And so. I basically don't leave him alone at all, which is <laughs> hilarious. But, like, we're supposed to be getting the palms from cheer. And I just keep, like, I'm like, come on. Like, we need, because we need them. Like, yeah. If we want to be, like, something better than we are, we right. need that kind of stuff. We're supposed to be starting football next year. Mm, that's ooh. awesome. Which would be really fun, that's which is why cool. we want these palms, because we've never done palm before as a team, right. only hip-hop. And so we're supposed to be starting football, which would be insane because, like, the family weekend, yeah. like, that walkout, that would be so fun. Um, yeah. But, yeah, we've just been trying to, like, grow as much as possible. We just got first in, um, like, a local competition. In Springfield, right? Yeah, Springfield. Yeah, awesome. we saw that. Yeah, which was really fun. We It's a new competition. They started last year, and we got second. But it was, like, a general category. Right. Now it's just a collegiate co category. So we're going against, like, club teams from other sports mm -hmm. or from other schools. My bad. Um, but, like, Ohio State, like, their Styles dance group is, like, really good. But because OSU's dance team is so good, the the good girl, the other good girls have nowhere to go. So, they, right. like, have this group. And they're awesome. So, mm -hmm. when we beat them, we were pretty we were pretty stoked. Um, and that was, like, another step, too, for, like, us to be able to, like, prove ourselves. to like Right. To show yeah. campus Expose rec yourself. and to show, like, the athletic department, like, hey, like, we're good. Like, right. we can do this, you know? So we're trying our best, yeah. um, and I'm excited to see what happens in the future. I yeah. think I think we're gonna grow pretty good, even if it's not when we're here, and like it's for future students. Like just to know that like we put so much into it, and now mm -hmm. that's happening. Yeah, it's like my baby. I love dance team. I was gonna I say awesome. done a lot in a year. I love it. Well, yeah, a lot of credit to you. Well, Yikes. I used to work for the football team, and I was at a lot of those home games and cheer team they do a flip for every single point that yeah, the team scores insane. are we gonna see that if you no. guys get it <laughs> maybe if maybe a few flips but not a flip for every point okay. yeah we even have like girls too who are like coming like know they want to come here right and they're like reaching i mean like three of them already have re reached out to us through email and been like i was just wondering like how the tryout process works and like even like even that to me is just like we're doing our job because right. like people are seeing that we're like a thing that like we is respected. I mean, everybody loves us. We mm -hmm. even at one point wanted to start like a petition for basketball games. Yeah, and I got a reason for that too why we couldn't do so many half times. Yeah, it's all another thing. It's frustrating. But it's for so sure. frustrating. I can but at least there's a reason behind it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there's actual like legal reasons why. Right. When it comes to like funding and like sponsorships and stuff like that, like it's mm -hmm. not just them trying to be like. Right. No, right. sorry. But I also think it's important to push like for that stuff. And right. I think oh, yeah. You, yeah. you've done a great job and you know, only being here for, you know, not even two years yet. Um kind of just taking a lead and a stance on that yeah. is super important and you know, beating being the foundation for the future of dance, right? right. Is kinda like you know, taking it taking it up a notch, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what you, you know. Something that, especially in the beginning of your journey, where you're like, "Man, I'm all in, right? All in on dance, wherever right. I can get the most." Here, it's a little different. You're like, "All right, but uh, you know, I can change something." Yeah. I think that's super awesome and yeah. super important. Um, and I know, you know, it, it is frustrating for sure working uh, with you know some of uh, you know the Dayton organizations as far as getting exposure to dance. I mean, even here at WUDR, we struggle to you know call men's games just because they mm -hmm. they just won't give us access. Right. 
right, yeah. student. They just um, sometimes prioritize uh, other, you know, people over yeah. student media and student organizations. There's a lot of, like, legality behind yeah. it. That just, I mean, like, and you wouldn't even imagine, like, for half times, like, they have to spend money on half times, like, because we're like, we're free. Yeah, you know, you gotta pay us to dance. We'll be there. Exactly. And he's like, no, you don't understand. Like, I have to for sponsorships, right. and it's just like, at least there's a reason for things. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah, but, you just want to think, let the kids play, man. Let's, yeah, let's right, get our shot. Exactly. You know, yeah. that's why I admire your your persistence. I mean, thanks. I, I, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it, it's just. You know, I think winning that competition was big too. I it was, was big. You know, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, just exposing, you know, the the dance program, you know, across campus, not only across campus, but you know, outside to the community is super important. And you know, uh, props to you. I mean, that's just such a great story, and I think it's super interesting the fact that, you know, y- you took it and ran with it. Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. still so much mm-hmm. left to go. Um, yeah. And I think it's awesome. I want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, some other things that you do off campus, which is... <laughs> some other stuff. Some other <laughs> stuff, which I, you are very involved in campus. I yeah. believe you are the president of... Um, Epsilon Newtown. Yes. So mm-hmm. president of yeah, the team and... Yeah, and president of the We say CEO. Okay. Because it's like it entrepreneurship based. Yeah. 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 And it's I sound super official, but yeah. yeah, I'm president of that too. It's awesome. Which I joined same time as dance team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're like, let's get into it. Yep. And... Um, another place that we love that you are all in for is Art Street, the Art Street Cafe, right across from here, right across, not the street, but kind of a little of the walkway here. And, uh, I believe this is my fourth time coming here this week. So it's kind of just a thing that we talk about every single show. Yeah. Um, I, I, I listen, I hear it. And we love it. Um, I put it in the group chat. Yeah. I'm like, guys, we really have some big fans. Actually, one thing that's funny, sorry to cut you off. No, go ahead. They wanted to do, which I know you guys would be like stoked for and down yeah. for mm. they wanted to do a formal with art street regulars where every employee oh had to bring an art street regular <laughs> isn't that a great idea that would be amazing i know i know we're trying to put you it know in the works. or even if we just invited regulars and like yeah. had like a secret pass and we were like we're so there. our formals friday like come on <laughs> slide, like, like right? that'd slide. Be, that'd be awesome. <laughs> the number one regular needs to get their own sandwich though That's like you gotta true. like raffle off yeah. do yeah. something like that who has spent like the most money like <laughs> I actually, I, I don't because know. I know. Dude, I know I would, I'd kill to because see Because um, the, I guess would it, your boss, the like president, I guess Betsy, Betsy, who is you know head of Bistro and, and Art Street, I yes. believe. Um, I've made jokes. I'm like, can you like check how much? Because I feel like I might be the top spender here at Art Street. <laughs> you um, guys, I mean, I, I see the same people consistently. Yeah. Like, there's a kid who was working at Our Taco the other day, mm-hmm. and I was like, Tony. He was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I know you. You get the, you get the, what does he get? Like a Michelangelo or something. I'm like, I know you. You get, yeah. he's like, oh yeah. I'm like, and you live across there and you come and order and then you come back when it's you're awesome. done taking your shit. Like it's, yeah. I mean, it's the same people. And since you work the same shifts, you see the same people. Right. But it's mm-hmm. great because it's like consistency. I, say, I know what's coming. That's yeah. got to be the fun part about your job. So just fun. those little things, yeah. right? So Seeing fun. the regulars. Oh, hey, what's up? You know what I, I mean? I love and, working there. I do. And, I really do. And I know we love coming on you know, oh Mondays. Gosh. You know, when Mondays you work and Wednesdays. Oh, that's a great shift. Noon, um, Mondays just starting off your day. Yeah. Right? Just getting the week started is, yeah. is just a great way. Um, it's always awesome. love seeing you in there. I love uh, being there. I do. And you can They tried to get me to run for management. And I was like, I don't want to. Because yeah. I just like going in, like, I don't want to have the stress. Right. And the response. Like, yeah, that's a great opportunity. But I just, I like going in and just, it's such a vibe to work there. Like, mm, yeah, it gets right. a little busy days. But, like, I work great shifts with great people. Mm-hmm. I have great, like, you guys always come in. I mean, like, there's so many people who always come in that, like, I literally know now just from working. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's just so fun. And I don't care what anybody says. It is the best food on campus. I agree. And that is just, <laughs> it's not I mean, close. it's not, I mean, there's nothing that can, maybe, like, like a spice breakfast burrito because I'm there's I, some other good stuff for right sure. but, but there's I think that's nothing to it. nothing hits when like it comes to consistency sandwich. I mean it is mm-hmm. I mean I, I, I'm, we're at the point as far as our fandom where you know we get our <laughs> spring scenes weekly we get at least probably three or four a week I do and same I, I think I'm on the same, and, and, the same <laughs> and I remember I got a mercury one time and I was just oh I was like this is, I, this I didn't is like so good much. but like I can't get behind it because that's you know, what I'm saying like, it's roots. just not it's not a spring we're scene. at the point like, where it wasn't bad we, it's just right not we, a spring scene. we eat it so much where we like rank our spring we have like mm, you know this spring scene was okay but again it's still better than like anything else like anything you could get at VWK anything oh, you could get for at Mary sure. Christ, right oh god oh, and yeah. that's By what far, it's about yeah. right and when you come to like when you think about FE like I'm sure you guys have you know you guys have a ton of events where you, all you know the members of FE are kind of oh, like yeah. hanging around like yeah, parties yeah we just had just something outside. with 
Brown Street Bistro yeah. on Arch Street. And there's a competition there. Yeah, and that was because we're, there has because to be. we're like we're like brothers. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Because we we I mean Arch Street's been around for for years. Right. For mm. years. I mean, we had alumni come back recently and they came in and they're just like staring out the window. And we're like, we're like, are you guys okay? And they're like staring in, they're doing this and that. Yeah. We're like, oh, and they're like, oh, I remember coming here, like <laughs> back in my, and we're like, what? And so like, I mean, like even in the back of Archie, there's t-shirts that have 2007, like signatures. I mean, it, wow. and Archie, fun fact, used to be open to like 2 a.m. Oh, on the weekends. Oh so that was game the, changer. That Can was the imagine? spot to Dude. go. Oh my God. <laughs> Spring scene at 2 a.m.? <laughs> oh, Dude, it'd I'd be so crowded. Week. It would be so like, yeah. crowded. I mean, have you ever, have you ever yeah. been there, though, on, like, a Saturday and, like, like yeah. big? Imagine just Lowe's covered. You come to oh Archie. It is bumping in Archie. That is, that. I mean, that's the spot to eat. Mitch, we talk about this, and we talked about it, I believe it was yesterday. On St. Patrick's Day, we stopped by Arch Street oh, last year. insane. And I've never stepped, we never stepped foot in there. That was my yeah, first time. Yeah, that was, like, my and first time, too. It was your first time, too. We were there with, a, a you know, a group of people. And we kind of walk in, and there is, like, we are, like, stuck to the wall. We can't, like, move anywhere. There's a ton nuts. of people. And I'm like, what is this place? Like, I've never heard of it. Like, I don't know what they're doing. Do they do sandwiches? <laughs> like, I'm kind of just there for the ride. And, you know, there's a ton of people in line, just chaos. And all the workers are like, hey, we're out of stuff. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. We have no more. We have no more chicken, no more anything. We're out. And basically, like, everybody left. Everyone and was, was like, getting wow. so sad. Yeah. And then... You know, just a month or two later, I stopped by and had my first ever Springsteen, and I, you know, never went back. I kind of just <laughs> ran away with it. Um, and it's just amazing. Wags, I know, I'm sorry, my mouth has been watering looking at the situation. <laughs> should I bust should, out my Springsteen? We should. Joe's sandwich is I just staring moved at it me over there. In front, like, just so graceful. And she, I'm sad I can't do a live review right now. I will now. say, whoever, whoever like, stacked those two pieces, that's mm -hmm. a good stack. It right looks there. good. And I feel bad for people who don't like people. Like my, I know my parents are listening right now, and I'm just like, Mom and Dad, like, you got to have like a, day, a sandwich right? from Archie oh. when you come here next. It's like, unbelievable. It's so good. And I think the other interesting part is not only do we think, and I'm glad everybody agrees on this in the room, that it is the best right. thing on the mm -hmm. campus as far as food, the free chips and the, the free pickle, <laughs> pickle. is oh, the cherry it. on top and the Easily. whipped cream around it. Easily. Yep. I, I, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. So I remember I went to the bistro the first time, first semester, mm. and I go up there and I order my sandwich. And I'm like, so do I get like free chips? They're like, no, you have to pay for that. And they're like, like, what the heck? And I, do you have pickles? No, we don't have pickles. No pickles. And I was like, yeah, okay. Like, I'm like, okay, but hey, it's levels to it. You know what I mean? It's just. I don't know. Nah, the pickle those and the little chips things, is so the little nice. aspects. No, because when we're out of pickles, that's a big deal. Right. A lot of people yes. don't know you get the free chips either. I know. Yeah. Well, a you could tell who's a regular based off of right. who takes the yeah. chips. And it's mm. Miss Vicky's, too. I mean, oh, I mean you right. can't beat that. It doesn't that, get better. Man. They're not trying to replace them, are they? Well, I no, keep seeing them putting the lays out there. out of them. Sometimes Miss Vicky's Wags, let's dig in just real quick. Oh, my God. Wags's looks really good. You guys got some big... That one is like two times as big as mine. With the marks, though. Look at the marks. You got two full sandies. Wow. And you know, you know what else is funny to you? What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else about Archery that I that I like. Oh, what I was gonna say was. It's been sitting here for forty five minutes and it's still still warm. Still unbelievable. This the whatever they keep in, man, that that works. I've gone I've gone there forty five minutes late to pick up my sandwich and it's so hot. And it's it's worth it. No. So you have you ever sometimes yeah, I'm I'll, not getting to spring scene for the road. That's well that's what I was gonna say is sometimes I'll if I'm working in the morning, I'll make myself a sandwich and I'll save it for the night mm. and I'll pop that in the air fryer. Mm. Ooh, oh my god. The gosh. crisp, it's so good. If I had the I you need to let me back there one time just to like make my <laughs> my own sandwich because I feel like I could cook up something. It's it's hard insane. though, yeah. Oh, you think that, well, that's what like, I do is I just I just whip up my own. Mm -hmm. and so I just throw everything I want on there at once. It's amazing. A lot of people sleep on, this is going to sound weird, but a lot of people sleep on like warm lettuce and spinach on the sandwich. Mm. I live by lettuce on it now. Like, really? I, I, I love lettuce. It's, I love lettuce, but lettuce on a hot sandwich, a lot of people are like, ew, that's gross. But like, it's really good for March. Like a lot of people get a spring scene and add spinach or lettuce. Really? Yeah. I would try it. I would try it. I've always, I mean, thought, I've always wondered like, how little... onions would yeah. be on it. Oh, onions like... would probably be great. Yeah. That's probably. what I was saying. I just want some crunch. I think it's just simplicity, though. 
But that's, that's honestly what that's what I'm about. See, the mercury is the just, opposite. Right. The mercury is the opposite. Mercury is just like all these pieces come together. But it's so good. It is. It is fire. And, and you know what? But it is a lot to eat. Like, if you're getting it three to four times a week, that's a lot. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. not going to say how many calories are probably it, in that. It is like, unbelievable, <laughs> right? And not, not, like, I mean, let alone the pickles, the chips. And we've, we've talked about it on our show. I mean, <laughs> we a few weeks ago, we gave... Just everybody a rundown and kind of a preview of just Shelby in general. I don't know. We talked about yeah. her for like ten to fifteen minutes. I, I think in, I was was in our experience, and just like it was, it was just hilarious. I don't. I know mean, this place is just very near and dear to yeah. our heart. And, we, and I try to make it so you guys like. I know the double pickle. The double pickle. I, I want to get in trouble for say. the double pickle, but it's come on. I, it's There's a lot of it. people who don't get a pickle, mm-hmm. so then you know you get the extras. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, One exactly. thing I will say about Art Street, though, that is so like. How do I put this? Like, so it's good. You're shaking your head. Like, it's, it's so different from other divisions of FE, Fire Enterprises, that there are so many moving parts of Art Street. We had, we just changed management, and we had a manager come from Brown Street who they put him at Art Street. Mm. And he didn't want Art Street. He wanted Brown Street Bistro because Brown Street Bistro is new, so that's like their baby. You know, they built that from the ground up. Uh. And so he didn't want Brown Street, but they put him at Art Street. And he mm-hmm. comes in before he had gotten the job, he came in. And I come in. Was that the guy we met today? I heard all no, about no, this. No, no, not him. This is hilarious. He's standing, like, at, just, like, behind the counter, hands on hips, just looking. And I'm like, Brian, like, what are you doing here? And he's, I'm like, you're working a shift? Like, what's going on? No, I just came to look, you know, whatever. I mean, he's pacing around Archie in the back, just back and forth, walking, saying this now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, so, what are your thoughts? And he just says, he, he looks at me and he goes, there's just so much. <laughs> There's just so much. I mean, because you got to think, but ev- Archie is every division combined. Right. Mm-hmm. We got the coffee. We got the smoothies. We have the, the sandwiches. We right. have the salads. We have everything in one. And in it might not be up to Breakfast, and lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Right. And, and everything in between. So people don't realize that, like, when they come in, we're like, there's no chicken. We got to cut that chicken. We got to cook that. First off, it's got to thaw. Then we got to cut the chicken. Mm-hmm. And we got to cook the chicken. We got to marinate it up with the Cajun and this and that. Mm-hmm. But, it, I mean, it's a whole ordeal. It's a whole process. And people from other divisions, like, the blend and the chill, yes, like, that's a whole ordeal in itself, too. But they don't understand, like, the scale of arch, of what right. goes on behind the that greatness. blue door. Exactly. Yeah. The greatness yeah. of like, Arch Street. No, quite literally. <laughs> and it, and I, I mean, I, I've always thought, and I kind of, you know, I think about the little aspects and kind of the pieces that are put together when you make an Arch Street sandwich, specifically a Springsteen. It is Cajun seasoning, correct? It is Cajun I knew it. Okay, so that's what I That's thought. why a lot of it's got people... got a little kick. It's got a little kick, and I love it. So, so it makes it. The, the, the sellers of Arch Street goes, Mercury... Dolly mm. Springsteen. I it. told you it was a Dolly. The Dolly used to be number. If you look on that sign, it says right home, the, the home it of the says Dolly. Art Street Cafe, home of the Dolly, mm-hmm. and Whoa. the Mercury beat the home of our the 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 Art Street, the Dolly. Mm. So Mercury just beat Dolly in sales because we they come out with like sales reports every Sunday, which is phenomenal because you know I stock every division and what sells <laughs> and. Mercury beat uh, the Dolly by like a hundred dollars. I think wow. I think it was like a hundred bucks. It's like ten sandwiches. More. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Literally, just about. They're like eight bucks a piece. Yeah. So wow. I think I think it was about a hundred bucks originally, at least. Maybe not this week. Maybe last week. Mercury, Dolly, Springsteen. Yep. And I think we're responsible for Springsteen. I, I probably think so too. I think we. I, you guys should find the other people though, because there's. There's a lot of regulars that come in and are diehard Springsteen fans. And every time so. we come and we hear that, we Springsteen for and we're like, oh, and uh, then it's not our uh, name. Uh, we're like, hey, they know what's up. They, they got me they, no, they, today. They right. know yeah. I start getting up on my chair and then they said, said Wesley or something. And like, it's yeah. just like, they're Hold like, the yeah. Bruce. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It is, man. It's, it's a tier. special spot on campus. Oh, yeah. It is. And the environment, I think, is another part of it. The culture. It, right? The culture. culture. Just the venue in general, it's just it's just an artsy place yep. that just allows everybody vibe. to just chill. It's, it's a vibe. I was going to say, vibe. like, Along like with sometimes concerts we'll have, like, live music. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, like, music. two weeks ago, just walked in on a Sunday, and there's just, like, a band yeah. just playing some jazz. We do. Like, they do, um... Thursday Night Live. Yeah, thir- I was going to say Thursday, Thursday Night, Night Live. And That's sweet. It's, it's super it's, cool. It's awesome. It's awesome. I, I don't really ever go often just because it's a Thursday night. I'm always busy, right. but it brings a lot of people in too. And it's a vibe. Like, yeah. you just can't help it. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> I love it too when it gets warm out and they get those, those <laughs> the doors, doors open. open. Yeah. Don't get, get me started. Uh, don't get me started because when I'm working, if it is nice out, those doors are open. And I, I will send it in the group chat and be like, it's a doors open yeah. day and that's when you know it's a good day and another thing too that it's just the culture of archery I'm so glad I got put there 
Backwards Hat Friday. Mm, Every true. If you go on Friday. That's backwards true. Hat Friday. It's also I Dolly. Friday. I was there this past Friday. Friday. I was past there this past Friday, and it was monsooning. I mean, like you guys barely had any customers. Just oh it's yeah. Just like, and you made an awesome TikTok, and it was it was hilarious. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Joe was there, and I was sitting there. I was like, Yeah, definitely Backwards Hat Friday. And I, you know, I was like, Man, it's a Friday. Um, classes are done, but. Hey, I gotta go to Springsteen because why not, right? Mm-hmm. And I knew Shelby was working, so I was like, I'll stop by. And in the back, there's I think. <laughs> oh my I was mom! Like one my of the mom only actually. People there. She asked, "What's on a Springsteen?" Ooh. You want to lay it down? Question of the day. Yeah, give us, give us. So I'll go how through how make I make it. it. We this should have said this. Mom. This should have been one of our first questions. You're but right. Yeah, go ahead. Lay so it out for us. Actually, it's hilarious that this is getting brought up because today in the Archery group chat. There was a debate about the order that a sandwich is made in. Mm. And this I am very passionate about because I've I've been there pretty long compared to a lot of employees. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I've tried my I've I've done my, uh, my my trial and error, exactly. So I know so Your the experiments. Springs, right. So the spring scene, you got the two pieces of bread. You start with the cheese always. Mozzarella mm-hmm. cheese box. Yep, the mozz. Mm-hmm. I've always wondered, is it shredded or sliced? Nope. Sliced. Sliced. Sliced mm. mozz. Sliced mozz. Chicken goes on top. We have a scooper. That's supposed to give like just the perfect amount of chicken, but don't tell anybody this. I don't think it does. So you know, I scoop, I pull a little, I pull a little bit of three, three extra pieces. Chicken goes three, on top. Three, three extra pieces. About three or four. Okay, always. three or four. Just Remember because that. it's got to cover all of the cheese. Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And so, and that chicken is like cubed up. Yes. Like finely, I like it super little cubes. Some people chop it too big, but you need like those little baby huge cubes. chunks. I like, yeah. I like yeah, the smaller ones. Yeah, I you, do that's too. how you need it. I agree. Then, so I, if it's like a spring scene and there's no veggies on it, hot sauce and ranch goes right on the chicken, close it up. Damn. But if it's like a mercury and there's like tomato and all this stuff on top, I do the sauce on the other side and mm. then I close it up. Interesting. Mm. I like but that. But the spring scene is the easiest sandwich to make. Right. Cheese, chicken, hot sauce, ranch, boom. Simple. In, in the turbo chef, a minute 30, she's done. Right. Do you go ranch first or the hot sauce first? Does it matter? You kind of just Ooh. switch it up. I think I go hot sauce first. Mm. I, I think, think, I, think I think so too, because you know the it's the it. foundation, right? I think you, you want more hot sauce than ranch at the end of the day. Interesting. Do you? Yeah. Interesting. I always add a little extra if I got some. I think it's I think it's important to have a good ratio. I think like this one we just had. I don't know about you, Wags, but it's a great ratio. So the one thing, the bread's a little soft for me, just a little bit. I think a reason why my bread's soft because soft. it's been sitting here She's, for yeah, forty-five minutes. Yeah, it's been sitting. Right, yeah, that's fair. Like that's out hot. I will say though, the fire. little bread right now, just for those who aren't here in person, yeah. that we're using the little tiny bread at Art Street, so it's just like two baby sandwiches instead of like two thick. Yeah. Big boy halves of right. one mm-hmm. sandwich. Yeah. And the little bread, you know, it does its job. It, it does. doesn't hit like no. the big bread. Yeah. It it's kind of fun, though. I think it's, it's kind of cute. It's a, like you know? it it's a cute out. little touch. <laughs> yeah. Cute, cute little sandwich. And, that kind of just but, like, you out. come in and you're like, oh, we got little bread today. Yeah. Because it's just a pain to have to put the chicken on. Right. And you have to, like, take care of the sandwich. You gotta be like, okay, everything's gotta stay on. Exactly. And then, and then you gotta hold <laughs> it like this and put it in the. Oh, yeah, it's a pain. And I think another interesting part is when you get the two big halves is. You go in there, and, and we go in there usually, you know, like 12, 30, 12, uh, right around lunchtime. Yeah. And you never know how much you can you can intake. You know what I mean? You never mm-hmm. know how much you can you can destroy <laughs> of a spring scene. Or and, how quickly. Yeah. And <laughs> we go in there with Isaiah, and we've had Isaiah on our show before. Shout out to Isaiah. We go in there, and he'll, like, take down a half. And even I've I've had my rare moments of taking down a half, and it's like, man, like, this you is struggle to get kicking to second, my butt, right? Mm-hmm. right? But the beauty of it is, yep, you got... Right, the wrap and just wrap it all up and take it home. Like you said, right. the air fryer. I think that's super interesting. It, 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 I so wish good. if we had an air fryer. That's, that's genius. It gets it so right. It totally, it's genius. You I guys definitely it. have to try the breakfast. So I will say the hearty, which is like a wrap, mm. double Horn. meat, bacon. What? I was just making fun. <laughs> the hearty. The hearty. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage, bacon, green peppers, tomato, Ooh. egg. Mm. I mean it's. But it sounds, sounds pretty good. it doesn't sound good just because of like all the veggies with like the breakfast. You know, I don't know. Some people that's not their thing. Right. You're definitely. I mean, it's it's good. Even that. If if you like like I love like fake breakfast, like Dunkin' breakfast. Mm. Like I will eat that up on like a Saturday morning. Like that artificial egg. <laughs> you get that the Hemingway mm. from our tree bagel, <laughs> egg, cheese, sausage. It's good. It's fire. Yeah. It's I nice. will say, though, I can't stand eating breakfast here because my brother actually asked me to ask you guys if you know what pork roll is. I've heard of it. Is that pork like roll? it's um, Taylor Hayne? Oh, boy. 
So this is one thing about Jersey. Let's hear this it. is this is opening up a whole new can. I was gonna say breakfast in Jersey. I mean, come on. So it's first work. off, the bagels. I mean, the bagels yes. here are just like even that bag yeah. of bagels that I got from the food drive outside. You're like, I, know, oh. I, know, I, know, I, know. I was looking at they had bagels. I, went, oh, I mean, well, I you took can have look, some I because like, I love a, a um, little bagel. A new Jersey bagel. There is nothing better than it. Like mm, absolutely, I'm sure. there is nothing fluffier and thicker and the right. cream. Like it just hits so different than anything else. Pizza, obviously Jersey pizza is fantastic. Right. But pork roll. So there's a big debate in um, Jersey. Shout out to Petey, our friend Petey. He's from up north Jersey. Yeah, shout out to Petey. So Petey calls it Taylor Ham. Mm, That's what he got me calling it because I went it over. It is not Taylor Ham. <laughs> it is called pork roll. So so this is like a... I don't know if I like either of these so, names. So, so Taylor Ham is the brand. And that's like calling like... like Oscar Mayer hot dogs, Oscar Mayer. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, that's like the brand. It's like calling like Ketchup yeah. Heinz. It's the guy Heinz. that made exactly. it, though. Right. That's, that's um, Taylor Ham. Pork roll is the actual meat. But you got, what's, what's funny about this is it's only in New Jersey. Like, my relatives who are from Long Island, they have no, they, my Uncle Vinny had no clue what pork roll I've was. I've never heard of this. Right. No, like, but they're even from Long Island. That's close. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not no too far. I mean, my dad, like, when they would come and visit, my dad would have to buy him. A big roll of yeah. pork roll, uh. and give and it's Petey's dad brought it, and so they all tried it. All the boys, awesome! It is so good. It's great. It is so. You had it, wax. Oh, so I visited Petey over winter oh, break, that's and right. that's where I got hooked on it. That's why I call it Taylor Hames. Yeah. Petey calls it that, wow. and and he he make me breakfast sandwiches and put so, it on top. And right when I went home, I hit the grocery store. Taylor Ham bought two packs, and then went not? home and just started making sandwiches it's every so day. Amazing. It was so good. wow! What's, so is it like a breakfast meat? Yeah, it's like, like a breakfast it like? meat. It's just like it's a like, perfect size for a bagel, too. Though, like the way it's okay. yeah. Is bagel the best bread? Because I just looked up a few pictures. There's like... A pork roll? Yeah. There's so like good. a lot of it. There's the like, grease like, of it. Yes. So good. Unbelievable. <laughs> but ba is bagel the go-to to put it on? Bread wise? Okay, so I'm... I... Yeah. I, I'm not even going to explain that. Yes. Right. <laughs> oh, but I mean, like, if you look on TikTok and just look up Jersey, like, pork roll, egg, and cheese... Salt, pepper, ketchup. Right. Salt, on, pepper, on, ketchup. On an everything, oh, on an so everything bagel yeah. will just put you out for two that's hours. Awesome. I mean, you'll be down, but it that is like the, that's what you eat. That's wow. what people eat for breakfast. Like, I go to my favorite bagel place. I get, you know, I get a bagel with whatever, veggie cream cheese. I get a pork roll and cheese. I mean, hefty sandwiches. The place that's, there's a bagel place right by my house. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I turn left out of my block and I'm there. I'll tell you what, there's so no bagel places in Cincinnati. I I have never had a I mean like I've had bagels here obviously like an Ohio mm, bagel right. but I mean nothing compares like when my mom and dad come and visit they know to bring me a dozen bagels and cream cheese yeah. from my, from Gems Bagels in Hazlitt, New Jersey Amen. because that's what I like I love it mm. and like they'll be yeah it's I mean culture. They know. the New yes. Jersey yes. bagels that's what it's about it's they're always way bigger too so oh, yeah. much bigger and fluffier when uh -huh. I worked I used to work the 8 a.m. shift at Archie last year right after my parents came I brought the kid who I opened with I brought us two bagels to make breakfast sandwiches oh. on and I remember him just being like oh my god but he tried to put like the artificial egg on it and I was like mm -mm. no you can't do that you cannot do <laughs> that be. I was like just eat the bagel put a little cream cheese like you cannot put that Flip fake egg on a New Jersey <laughs> bagel that's a that's a crime like you cannot it's disrespectful so good that's and my brother awesome. my brother was like you gotta mention pork roll yeah so, that's such that's, an interesting debate I love it's fun. it's I mean it's a it's a big debate in New Jersey. Yeah. I mean, me and Petey, if it gets brought up, we will, like, yell at each other. <laughs> really? Yeah, Petey just actually sent us all a text saying that it is Taylor Ham. It is not. <laughs> it's really funny. Shout out to Petey. Um, Petey, yeah. Uh, that's, that's awesome. Hilarious. That's awesome. Well, we're going to take a quick little break here on WUDR. We'll be right back, though, here on 99.5. And, again, we appreciate all of our listeners for tuning in for uh, only the start of an amazing <laughs> interview with Talking Great about the dance time. team mm -hmm. and the spring scene as well as the pork roll. But we'll be right back here after the break.
like Elliot Ness The track hits your eardrum like a slug to your chest Like a vest for your Jimmy in the city of sex We in that sunshine state where the bomb ass him be The state where you never find a dance floor empty And pimp speed on a mission for them greens Lean mean money making machines serving fiends I've been in the game for 10 years making rap tunes Ever since honeys was wearing Sassoon Now it's 95 and they clock me and watch me Diamond shining, looking like a Rob Liberace It's all good, from Diego to the Bay Your city is the bomb if your city making pain Throw up a finger if you feel the same way Straight putting it down for California, yeah Where the kids are hip 
and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Three Birds, One Stone here on WUDR Dayton 99.5 through Fly Radio. The Vibe. I'm Joe Sullivan <laughs> alongside my partners, Andrew Wagner, Hello. a.k.a. Wags, and the man, Money, Mitch. Cha-ching! And our special guest, the Art Street Cafe goddess <laughs> herself. <laughs> Miss Shelby, Shelby, welcome back. Yes, I'm still here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, you know, Shelby, we appreciate you for coming on the show again. Well, I appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Of course. <laughs> and you've been at the top of our list for the past few weeks. I've been waiting. Know. I've been waiting. Um, you know, I've been looking forward to this day, and, man, it, it, it has lived up to expectations. It has. It has. It has I mean, we, we, had the, we had Art Street. Mm-hmm. We've, we're doing the whole shebang. And we're only about a little over halfway. The whole shebang boy. <laughs> the whole shebang boy. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Wagner. If, if my dad's listening, I didn't even know he did this, man. He went to Dee Dee's and apparently ordered a, a shebang, shebang man, shebang boy, shebang boy, shebang boy, I don't know. It's a so uh, I, I think it was like Saturday. I kept saying shebang boy because so, so for a hot, you can get a hot dog at, at Dee Dee's, right? Yeah. And there's a bunch of slang terms that you've heard. Glizzy is one, mm-hmm. right? Frank is one in New York that they use. But there's this like so there's this one that not a lot of people like talk, use because it's like you only use it in like a goofy context, and it's shaboing boy, <laughs> and people call like hot dog shaboing. So like if you were to get a hot dog, and like have nothing on it, just like the bun, or even just like the hot dog in general, like, that would be a shaboing boy. <laughs> That's yeah. just shaboing. Yeah. yeah, but if you were to like get mustard, that'd be like a frank or a glizzy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But shaboing boy is like shaboing boy like that. <laughs> So we kept saying it because I think we who were making fun of somebody. Win was you know shout out to Win, our our favorite Twitch streamer on the face of the earth, um, <laughs> the man, the myth, and yeah, we were just I kept saying it, and he's like, "What is this boy going?" And, you know, Wags, your dad was awesome. I'm, I'm glad he had a great weekend. Oh my god, he said he had one of the best weekends, man. Yeah, and he was vibing with us. We were just hanging out mm-hmm. in the apartment, like didn't even go out, and he yeah, was there. Yeah. He was in it. I'm glad we stopped by because we were at some before, and and he told me the next day he's like, I'm really glad we went to Gardens and got to meet everyone because I was, I feel like that was the first time we really got to sit and meet some of those guys and yeah. and girls. You know, it was it was a blast. And I, I think he really took himself back. You know, back yeah. to his dating days yeah. a little yeah. bit. Absolutely, uh-huh. and he blended in well. Too. Oh. I mean, you can just tell he was one with us. Some guys, <laughs> man. We yeah. were playing right. all sorts of games. And, it was awesome. You know. I thought it was funny too. Like him and Allie Berkey's brother were like bonding over being <laughs> alumni. Yeah. Allie Berkey's brother he was like, Yeah, I think I'm gonna graduate just a little bit. After you, <laughs> yeah. and he was, like, your you dad was just played, like, yeah. you were playing games against each other, which is hilarious. So funny, yeah. I mean, just like the the family bonding. Something I never awesome. expected coming in. You know, it's like yeah, my family loved it too. Like I put a video on my story, my dad playing some beard on. And like my no, like those peop- number of people that swiped up was ridiculous. And I kept showing my dad, he's, he his eyes were lighting up. He was seeing all this. He was, he, he was famous, you know. He was like amazing. It was great. No, it, was it was awesome. It was a great. time. He was famous when he was here. Absolutely. Like I mean, every like, alumni's fa- like everybody yeah. loves alumni. We, here. I love alumni. Yeah, no. What I mean, what a great time we had with him. And he, again, he's just blended in so well, and Such you can tell he's got it in his blood. It's just that culture, yeah. that mm-hmm. culture thing. And mm. um, it, one thing that we like to say here on Three Birds and One Stone is. Blood is thicker than water. Always, so, uh, always. You know, he he. That kind of represented. That was just a great example of that. Lives and breathes it. You know, Amen. it's Dayton. It's Dayton, baby. Some Dayton Amen. Blood. Amen, baby. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, it, it is March, ladies and gentlemen, and it is crazy how fast this year has flown by. Um, but it's been a blast to say the least, and I think we can all say that. Um, and you know, it's just crazy to think about. It just like a little over a year and a half ago. I mean, we were little wow. freshies like, oh, hi, it's, hi. It's I'm, so weird. I'm Joe. I'm out. Shelby. You know what I mean? Just meeting people. And now it's just like it's been a whole new journey and a whole new yeah. scenery oh this year. And yeah. the way that things change just from like freshman year to sophomore year, just everybody being connected now. Mm-hmm. Like even like just people knowing one another. And I'm right. like, no, I know Joe. And they're like, well, no, I know Joe. And right. I'm like. No, I know Dennis. Yeah. Everybody knows each other, but I think that's what makes it so special. I, Shelby, I can't even remember the first time I met you. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's funny, too. Like, we have this awesome, like, big group that hangs out every weekend, mm-hmm. and it's just the way that we, it came together. It was just clicked. But And all the girls were hanging mm-hmm. out with the boys at different times, and, yeah. like, different boys on the floor, but everybody knew all the girls. Like, Berkey's crew and that floor was hanging out. Mm. Shipley Flynn, they were hanging out with Elliot. OG, right. Chirac. And then, and then like... <laughs> Um, Ella and them would hang out with the, the other boys and it was just everybody was hanging out with yeah. the same boys mm-hmm. and now it's just like one big crew yeah no it's awesome and the boys have stuck together like glue Amen. nothing has changed dirty between north, dirty that north dirty north, 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 north. north. 
dirty, Nothing has changed. Well, do, Mine I mean, is. Yeah, I mean, Dirty North is just. Mine is a few. Do we have a new name? Like, or do we? I mean, it's obviously it's, it can't, you can never change it, but we're now like dirty. One and a dirt, half Puerto dirty, Ricans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're like dirty, dirty, third, dirty third floor of VWK. I yeah. mean, that's the crazy yeah. part is that we all live on, on the, the same third floor. floor again. Because yeah. I remember, you know, we got our like, oh third floor. Okay, let's see. But you know, my, minus Isaiah, and let's see where Wags, and it's mm. just hilarious. And obviously, you know, PD and yeah, and, AK and Tyler. And but Noah, even but, what are but, the odds that? Shipley's apartment, like the one right girl there. apartment, is next to the other girl's mm-hmm. apartment, and the boys are right across the street. I mean, mm. I mean, it really did get set up perfectly. Yeah. Like it couldn't have gone any better or worse because if we were all in the same building in gardens, too, a little too much, you know. Like we <laughs> yeah. need our distance, but it's just perfect across the street, next door. It's it's if it worked there, out much. perfectly. If you need them, they're there. And we got a little dapple in every building. We got VWK. Got a little right. salt and spice uh, exactly. in South. Get a little like, flavor. Yeah, a little, mm. little, a little bit variety. everywhere. Yeah. Next year's gonna be interesting too. We're gonna be all over the place. Yeah, yeah. we are. Should be interesting to see where everybody lands up mm-hmm. and, and ends up. Um, Do you know your rank? I think we were we were in the sixties for five person, but it's Oof. seniors and juniors. Oh. And so a lot of people could be going for this side, and we didn't pref a lot on this side. Mm-hmm. I, I I personally think we're going to be fine getting Woodland. That's where we want is Woodland, but mm-hmm. we pref washer dryer because we like to do our laundry. Amen. We're clean. We're clean. Amen. And yeah. so we're seeing. Hopefully, we'll get Alberta or something. We just want that side. I'd be forgetting that that a lot of the a lot of UD houses sometimes don't have those washers yeah. dryers or microwaves or dishwashers it's crazy. the microwave what? is what surprises me the most yeah because mm-hmm. i mean that's just such a small appliance i mean apparently though this is something that i heard was that they were updating a lot of the houses that didn't have wash uh washer dryer dishwasher microwave mm. to have them but you don't know which ones it is so when you're doing housing this year wow. you can be prepping that and then if you like like, say you don't have enough technically, like, you could possibly have it even if you're not supposed, you know oh, what I mean? Right. That kind of thing. That's so nice. that's why I kept telling them, too. I was like, let's take our chances and pref, like, nicer blocks. Because we don't even know, like, even though there's, like, two houses on Woodland, you know, OO block that have washer dryer, the rest of them could be getting them soon. Mm. So it's interesting, though, because, like, my friend, like, the one who goes to the other UD, she, like, lives in an apartment. Right. And, like, that's, like, the thing is senior year and junior year, they live in apartments. And I'm just like, that's so weird to me. Yeah. And she was like, well, we might get a house senior year, but it's, like, 15 minutes off camp. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, so excited to be in a house here. I know. I'm it's so like excited. It's, like, one of the coolest parts of the campus, especially I think, I think it is the coolest part. I think that that's what makes Dayton mm. is the houses. I, I feel like, you know, over the past few weeks, um, I, I think, you know, we talked a little bit about it um, on the show, just kind of realizing that, I feel like every week we get one really nice day. And it's oh, kind yeah. of been like that over the past few weeks. Yep. And, you, and on that really nice day, see everybody, everybody on their yeah. porch. And it's like, uh, at this point, where we're at, right, second semester, we're sophomore year, we're waiting, right around the corner. We're waiting we're like, for man, it. that's going to yep. be us, you know? It's, I know. And it's, it's coming up super it's, close. It's going to go by quick, man. It's right. scary, man. Right after spring break, you know, it's then it's St. Yeah. Patty's, and then it's Easter, and then it's formals, and it's just done. And then it's summer. And I just know it's going to go by so quick. Yeah, in the next it already year is too. going by so oh quick. I cannot believe that we're in our fourth, fourth spring break. It's like well, what? spring break. Yeah. Is, you know, it's like right halfway. Now. Makes no sense. I it met makes with no my, sense. I met with my counselor yesterday, and she was talking about like registering. She's like, "Yeah, right now you can register as a junior." And I was like, "Oh, it's just like uh, wow." I'm excited, like you know, to to get into that that next year, and I'll get the house. Upper like, classman. Yeah, and that's, oh. the thing. Class- like, that's that's a scary right. thing to hear. Yeah. Because that's wow. the, I think that's another funny part is right now we're like, man, we want to be juniors, we want to have our houses, but I think next year once we get a little bit down the road, we're like, oh yeah, I kind of wish we were sophomores. Yeah, right? yeah. You know I mean? Freshman like, year. I even look back on freshman. Oh my and I'm gosh. Like, yeah. Oh, I missed like just getting to we walk and marry wild. Chris. Like we were wild freshman year. Crazy. I was looking back at my like one year goes today and i'm like but we did we freshman year right we did it right right. we We found a nice group like where like we see each other every weekend like we're with the same kid you know what i mean like i miss club milano still to this day (laughs) bring back it's it's still there but it is not the same same. it is not the same i I think it's awesome that you know we are we we stick true to them and we show them love whenever we can because you know when we go, there's we do have a good relationship. Not too many people, but yeah, we, we're loyal, and they it, know us. It feels good to be like exactly. It's kind of like us with our. Are, are you guys gonna be stopping by Blue Blue Beer Day? 
this year? Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, when is that again? It's Wednesday of spring. Or yeah. the 22nd, After, maybe? Yeah, 22nd. Yeah. Yeah. Would it be right yeah. before? I actually think I'll be working at Orange Street that day Ooh. because Betsy wants to go. And I was like, she's a senior. Let her, yeah. And you know, that's a good day to work. I'm hoping it's like a nice day. So right. it's just like another Orange Street go. I'm hoping the weather is amazing that yeah. week. Yeah. Hopefully. I hope it is. St. Too. Patty's Day, fingers yeah. crossed. It is a great time to be a Dayton student. In Our podcast should be exciting that week. It is, yeah. Oh, It'll yeah. be definitely. We we'll have to do some to sneak peeks. For sure. Something um, special. And we'll definitely get a special guest on there. And not only is it a great time to be a Dayton student, but also a, a Dayton Flyer fan. As oh, yeah. The Dayton basketball team plays today at 5 yeah. o'clock, which it is now 324. So. SJU? Yeah, uh, S- yes. Yeah. St. Joe's, um, which will Home be a good Lynn one. Lynn Greer, the as third. they'll be taking on yeah, former Flyer. Yeah, Lynn Greer, Lynn Greer, the third, who first round had 22 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. Almost had a triple double. He's been playing great lately uh, for the Hawks, and that'll definitely be a game <laughs> to watch out for. Shane Greer had a Lynn Greer. <laughs> and <laughs> I just think it's funny that they end, they end up playing him. Yeah. yeah. He's playing because originally when we played him in norm, like regular season, mm-hmm. I didn't think he was going to play. And I think we were on break for one of the games. He, oh, yeah, my gosh. We, were, we weren't Wait, there. He I to, was, though. There, I was yes. at the game, and the chants going for Lynn Greer oh. were hilarious. <laughs> and he usually Man, starts. Every time he got the ball, bro, every time. And, yeah, he didn't start that game. He yes. started every game. That's what I thought. Game. I was like, they're really and not going to play him when bench. he's when – he's, when he's playing, I yeah. know his old his own his own old stopping yeah. stopping grounds, and I was mm-hmm. like, "That's crazy." Right. He's from New Jersey. Fun fact. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a Jersey boy. He is the, Jersey. the chance when he got the ball were pretty rowdy. I mean, in Dayton fashion, and it, yeah. it was pretty fun. That game was actually a blast. He yeah. has been playing good though. I saw that. Yeah, he played good. But was who, was that yesterday's game? Yeah, they, yeah. Uh, yesterday, well, yesterday they beat. I'm trying to think. I can't. Uh, they beat George Washington. He played decent. That's a big win for him. Their first game, they played Loyola, and he almost had a triple double. He played fantastic, that and again. You know, he was a pretty highly recruited guy. I mean, he had a lot of good D1 offers. His dad is, you know, the best player in really Temple history. I mean, mm. he played in the league for a little bit, so he's kind of got it in his blood. And again, New Jersey hoops. Um, and shout out to Peter Grant. We talk about it a little bit. I know he was listening earlier. I don't know if he's listening now, but New Jersey hoops is the real deal. I mean, yeah. they, they got they got some guys who yeah. can play out there. Um, so he's kind of been around in the culture. And it should be a good game as the Dayton Flyers will take on, I believe, St. Joe's the, uh, oh man, what seed were they have been? Are they 11th? I think they were like maybe seven. I thought that I was going to say they're eleventh, but LaSalle is eleventh. LaSalle is taking on uh, Fordham. Yeah, what time's that game at? That game, I don't know. I know St. Louis is playing right now. Ten. Um, I thought like the GW um, St. Joe's game was like a ten versus seven or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, and they might. I think you might be right. Cause, yeah. I mean, um, Give me a Loyola was the last seed. I think they were fifteen. St. Joe's mm. is ten. So you might be right. Okay. Yeah. 10, yeah. And then 10. if we win tonight, we play Sunday. It, it, right. I believe Saturday. Saturday. It'll be the oh, semifinal. Yes. I don't know if they play the semi. Is it Friday or Saturday? I forget. It's probably Saturday. I don't know. But my dad, my dad wants to go and get these because we're right In there. Brooklyn. Oh yeah, yeah, you are. Hey, I might be going. As long as if Dane wins, I'll be at Barclays. You know, my dad wants to go. Wags, you were there last year, and you were kind of like uh, we talked about uh, just talking about Dane basketball the entire year. Yeah. You you know you saw it firsthand that loss that they had in the semifinal against Richmond. Oh. I mean, oh yeah, it was tough, man. Yeah. And you know, it was in is in DC at Capital One. It was awesome. Wow. A lot of Dane fans, man. And, oh yeah. And Richmond's not far, you know. So they they were they traveled well. Too, and it was, you know, big stadium. Obviously, it wasn't filled, but it was electric. Right. It was great to see, really close. And we were hot. Heartbreak started hard. well, 14 up at half. Up, and yeah, I was going to say up by 15 at one point. And you know, once Malachi got hurt, you could just see us starting to lose <sighs> a little steam. And it, it hurts to see, man. And I can't remember who the, the name of the big guy on Richmond. They had this real tall, just mm. like, oh, he looked like a fifth year man. This guy looked like he was a grad student, but he was just putting <laughs> up buckets, you know, getting these offensive rebounds, yeah. and they started just, just bowling us in the paint. Yeah. We couldn't hang, but. Awesome game to see. I know. remember watching that game oh my and Mally getting too. hurt, and I was, uh, you know, that's just, not good at, for whatever right, happens. Just right. everything's going through my mind, and then all of a sudden, this is like one of my favorite videos of him, and I still like will make fun of him when I see him for this video, just because now he laughs about it because it's so funny. But it's somebody's recording on the TV, and he's just tears yeah. strolling oh. down the kid's face, and his mom is behind. It's okay. Yeah. And like she's got his arms around him, and it's just such a cute like. Because he knew all that, and he mm. knew. He knew. He, he, broke knew. His ankle, he yeah. knew, but but it's just he looks back and he just laughs because he's like, I look like a big fat baby on right. TV. Yeah. But it's just such a cute video that his mom is there, and I'm just I just think it's hilarious. Right. It just kind of shows like the dedication, the heart that he has. Right. Yeah. I mean, just going down and. He, you know, he's he knew he's like in a bad spot, and that's not a good injury. No. And you know, whatever happens, whatever happened in that game, I mean, they were again, we're up by 15, 
went down, you know, and Flyers slowly lost it. But um, just he, he kind of was just like, man, I'm whatever happens after this game, I'm going to miss out. On That's what I love yeah. about Mally, man. And he he has he's probably one of our, our best locker room leaders, I want to say, or like just like honest, like just represents Dayton in such a good way. Um, I feel like because he, he loves the team, man. Yep. You know, even when he's injured, you know, he's always out there in the in the tunnel with the, the other players getting ready in his crutches and right. stuff like that. And, you know, I, I just love his uh, dedication to the program. That's exactly that. what happened at the game. I mean, he didn't stay in the locker room. He came back out and was supporting the guys mm-hmm. on the bench, you know, and you like to see that. Yeah. And, you know, he's got those family connections with Scoochie. And, you right. Know, I, a lot of culture. I always mm-hmm. forget that. His family, yeah. yeah. I always forget Scoochie that. Smith was unbelievable, man. He Very good. Legend. Legend. Legend, yeah. Yeah, right. One of the For best sure. guards to ever play here. Um, and, you know, they're going to need that leadership tonight. As, you know, obviously Absolutely. he's taking on St. Joe's, the 10 seed, but – um, you know, Flyers Any game they can struggle, yeah. And but I will say, compared to really any other year in the Anthony Grant era, I mean, this is probably the easiest road that Dayton has had to the final. Right, I they're going to take right. on the ten seed, St. Joe. They beat St. Joe by twenty four, and that I believe that was what break was that? That, that was had? winter break. Winter, yeah. winter. Yeah. That's had, when yeah. Obi showed up, right? Or yeah. no, that was Florida. Maybe I'm thinking something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obi was wasn't, yeah. wasn't there. That was winter break. Mm-hmm. Almost, but positive. yeah. So none of our students were there, but I mean, Flyers look great. Beat them by twenty four. That was in December when they, you know, were winning games. Um, like all throughout the week, they were playing. I, I great. actually told Mally. I said we were talking about you on the radio. I said, "What are they? What are, you, what are they saying?" <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, just a great win against St. Joe's, up by twenty four, right, beating them. And then whoever, if they beat St. Joe's tonight, they'll go on to the semifinal, which they'll play on Saturday, and they'll take on either LaSalle or, or Fordham. Fordham. And they have beaten both of those teams by a twenty plus. Um, so man, I mean, it's just a really great spot, and the luck of the draw again has been in Dayton's fa- uh, favor this year. But you know, when you look at what what could be, I think even before this tournament, this is the year. I think that you know, to take away the twenty twenty year, obviously mm-hmm. with COVID and Obi Toppin and that team, who was again probably would have been a one seed go, coming into March. This is probably the highest expectations and the most confidence that anybody has had in an Anthony Grant team going into the A10 tournament. I mean, I think it, it's it's all in, right? They have to win this tournament. It's, it's, yeah. it's essential, mm-hmm. I think, for the future of the program. Yep. And, you, you know, just the current state of Anthony Grant. The and future of the players. Absolutely. And where yeah. Yeah. Right? I, I just think. They need a tournament. Right? Why not? Who, like, and we've why, been why saying not, that a lot. Ex- like, who's, yeah. why not just go out there and win it, right? Mm. They are, you know, they have a great path going to the final. And, you know, it's a question we, there's a question that we have to ask, you know, that we love to say here, and it's how bad do the Dayton Flyers want it? Yep, and that's true. <laughs> that's absolutely true. And, and that, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah. I Hopefully think, they stay healthy throughout. Yeah, yeah. That's my thought. Like, yeah. And I think an interesting point to look at is Kobe Elvis, um, which he is questionable tonight, and some inside sources are saying that he might not play uh, because he, you know, and Mike Sharp Johnson, another guy who had, uh, I believe he's bruised his knee against St. Mm-hmm. Louis, um, so he is expected not to play tonight coming off the bench, which I, I just think is silly. You know, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, let's talk. Let's think about that St. Louis game, right? Flyers mm-hmm. have basically the two seats secured in the A10, and they're taking on St. Louis. St. Louis, the four seed this year, but you know, very talented team, and they've oh, yeah. they've shown that they're the one of the most talented teams. Obviously, yeah, they're Collins, Jimerson, they've been great this year, but that game means nothing. You know, it's end of the. I get you know it's a rivalry game at St. Louis. You want to go out and win it. But there's no reason to push your players into, you know, getting these stupid injuries like a bruised mm-hmm. knee for Mike. And Kobe Elvis, again, has right. an injury that they haven't come out with yet on his status and whether he'll be starting tonight. But, um, you know, people have been talking about it. Maybe he, not seeing him in the starting lineup tonight just because of that St. Louis game. Definitely something interesting to look out for. Look out for. But I think you're right, Shelby. I mean, health. And, and yeah. just can they stay healthy? It's been a problem struggled. in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Seems um, to be the problem of the year too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, just we we talked about it before, you know. I mean, other teams have had injuries too. You know, you can't always use that as an excuse. <laughs> Absolutely. I think AG man, his this is a testament. You know, the, talking about the St. Louis game, it's a testament to his lack of situational awareness. Sometimes, you right. know, he doesn't always really know the implications. Sometimes of you know what's going on. So, I've, whether it's late game or it's you know putting putting guys in, pushing them for you know against St. Louis. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I think you just got to be a little smarter and, and you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Make something happen. I think Malachi Smith, <laughs> who's listening right now, just Shout gave us Mallory. the adv- awesome, yeah. advice of a lifetime. One game at a time. Amen. There there one go. game hey. at a time. And, and he's right. And we've talked about that on this show. I mean, just throughout this entire year, I feel like that's the mindset that they should have. Yeah, right? exactly. No matter, you know, what people have been saying before the year, during right. the year. You know, and, and I'm sure the players, they, they've just dealt with that, right? Just people, you know, chirping at their ear. It, it doesn't matter because all they know is, you know, they got each other in the locker room. And whatever, mm-hmm. it, all that matters is come down to the postseason. You know, can they do it and can they get it done? And, and I we have that chemistry. Spot. We oh, we yeah. do have that chemistry. Mm-hmm. Like, I, the way the players see each other on the court, they, they, they know it. Right. And I think it, that's another uh, another thing about this team is just not looking forward to the next game. And I think this is a prime example of that, right? Obviously, you know, taking on the 10th seed at St. Joe, where they're going to be favorites. I mean, Dayton mm. is definitely a big favorite tonight. Yeah. But that game will be at 5 p.m. Um, on, uh, I believe it's USA, or is it, oh, I forget what the network's called. CNN? No, 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 CNN. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are the, I think it's USA it's CBS. Sports Network. It's USA Sports Network. Right? Is it not CBS? Uh-uh. Which, um, and then I, they will play CBS if they make it to, you know, the final and stuff like that. Um, but again, that'll be a five o'clock game out in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Yep. Just the thing that they've been, you know, kind of embodying where, you, you, like he said, I mean, one game at a time because, you know, that's all that matters because, you know, all they got to get is three wins. But yeah. in the A-10, they've seen it. We've seen it all year. I mean, the the inconsistency, right? Mm-hmm. And just conference play is tough. And we've seen it all across the conferences you know, even bit top, you know, the big six conferences, right? The power six conferences mm-hmm. and even lower tier teams, right? Lower tier conferences and mid majors. Um, it, it doesn't matter where you're at, who you're playing. Conference play is tough, right? Yeah. And I think uh, Dayton, again, in a great spot, um, you know, to try and win this tournament. But again, it's one game at a time. I'm going right? to say uh, on speaking of just like basketball and don't tournaments uh, or brackets come out on Sunday? Yes, so selection Whoa. Sunday. So Ooh. yeah, because you out so for glad the show. it's March. The, yeah, because they. I mean, we well. should we should totally do a three birds one stone uh, NCAA bracket challenge. Yeah, for sure. And Ooh, we can like get our listeners to join. in. I'm gonna do one just for fun. I was gonna say, and I think also we could get our past guests to mm-hmm. do one too. And mm-hmm. Oh, I'm definitely pool. doing one. Maybe throw a little. I don't bread. know. Sometimes I don't really know anything outside of the A10, but I'm still doing. <laughs> like, I'm that's all you need to know. Yeah, right. Right. Um, and yeah, no, definitely something to look forward to. Maybe the Rutgers will make it. Who knows? Maybe Rutgers, <laughs> they're kind of right on the edge right now. I believe they play Michigan today, and they're going to need at, at least another win to try and secure a spot a in the win. tournament. Rutgers uh, usually is a tough place to win at home, too. I don't is. know where the game is, but they, they show up for those games. Yeah, Rutgers. I mean, I believe all the games, Big Ten tournament, um, are at the United Center in Chicago. But again, Rutgers, oh, yeah, okay, uh, right. Rutgers is always a tough place to play. I mean, we saw Purdue l- lose there earlier this year. Yeah, um, that was oh, a crazy that was a crazy game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And even, you know, the past few years, they've beaten some top five teams at yeah. home. And it's a, it's a place where Purdue is also, like, I think a little bit of a fraud team. I don't know how deep they're going to get into the tournament. I mean, I, Lost to Maryland, too. Yeah, like, yeah, they've had some losses. They are very good. twice. They are very good. And I think when you got a guy like Zach Eady, you're always going to be good, right? Mm. Um, you know, that seven-foot beast out there. He's been fantastic. And he's definitely player of the year, um, what for was, sure. Uh, where did Taco Fall play? Was that UCF. Purdue too? UCF, or UCF. Yeah. UCF? The same colors though. That like that team kind of <laughs> reminds me of uh, UCF, like low key. I think they're a little different, but well, yeah. Why I mean, would you? Why do you think they're similar? Just because just they have just because that ball. the really tall dudes. UCF that, was it. a very athletic team. That I mean, they're scrappy. They almost right? beat Duke, man. Yeah. That was one of the craziest endings to a game I've yeah. ever seen. I think it, they're a bunch of dudes that could play, and that was a crazy ending. That tip and almost went in. That would have been oh in. Oh, my gosh. That would have been the end of Zion Williamson, which, mm. you know, they lost that next game against Michigan yeah. State. That mm-hmm. was uh, Cassius Winston. He that In that Michigan State team, they beat Duke. Oh, no, I think that uh, Duke team was like doomed, to, uh, doomed to fail. They were special. Yeah. They, but um, they, that's what I th- – they're just too special, I feel. Yeah. But I do want to go around the horn with you guys and tell me a little about, uh, you know, just where are your thoughts at for the Dayton Flyers – um, going into you know the postseason, obviously first game today in the quarterfinal, and are really set up for a potential final spot with the teams that they're playing. What are our expectations, and you know, where do you think they'll end up? Do you think they win the A10 tournament? Um, I hope so. Yeah, right. I obviously, so. I I um I think we'll make the finals. I I really I I have like. No shot we don't right now. I feel like even though, like we've been saying it, we can lose to any team at any time. I think right now in tournament play, I think we know how bad we need it. And 
I think that, like we've said, this team hasn't reached its ceiling, and it's kind of mm-hmm. getting to that time where it needs to be reached. And so I think hopefully they're going to ball out. And I think when it comes to the finals, it depends if we play SLU or VCU. But I think it'll be a close game, and I think if we're healthy, I think we can take it and have a tournament berth. Shelby, what do you think? I was going to say, I am not super into, like, collegiate basketball, you know what I mean? But... I'm into the Dayton Flyers. Mm. And so that's where I started really learning about basketball was through just like my dad, my brothers, you guys, like everybody at the games. My main thing for them is obviously everybody can see when like a clean game is there. Like Mm. every play is clean. Like it's just a back and forth, like a good battle. I don't want to see any like sloppy mistakes, you know, the ball rolling on the floor, like that, kicking this and that. Like I feel like every game we're so sloppy, especially when we're on offense. Like, the ball is always getting turned over and this, and and I just don't want to see any sloppy plays. Like, Mm. I'm just tired of seeing that. And so I think if they just, like, lock in, then I I would even be happy with a loss if it was, like, a good game. Like, if we lost just by that little bit, like, in the finals or the semis, I wouldn't even be that mad if if there wasn't, like, any crappy plays. That's a a great mindset to have going into it. Yeah, it's a good take. I mean, yeah. Dane's obviously got the potential win. It's you know an interesting situation now, just because it's like it's like tournament or bust, you know. So there's no more regular Literally. season. Let's just put it all on the line here. But I like what Shelby said, you know, just take some time, ease into it, and then right. just really, you know, find that groove, lock in, and and just try to get after it. I, I think Dane fans are are really waiting, you know, for some for some wins here, and, and they'll support the team. They're right. they're oh, eager no for what. for a little bit of a run. So you know. I like what Mally said, take it game by game, but one hey, game at a time. The fans are here for you, you know. If we win, we'll we'll support you, we'll back it up. I'm excited. Absolutely. I think they can win. And I think the Dayton fan base at times can be, you know, a negative place. I'm gonna be straight up. That's awesome. No, on Twitter. Abs- I mean, Twitter. Twitter. I was Twitter's gonna say it, but I, I mean yeah. people are unreal and, and just the comments that, you know, people have been got I mean, we we talked about it earlier in the year with Anthony Grant in that post game conference that he had oh, yeah. after one of the games talking about, you know, just the nasty comments that his players have gotten yeah. just because of gambling. You know, it's just, um, it, it's just you know, a place that's very inconsistent when it comes to, and you, that's a lot of fan bases, right, across Twitter, but um, especially this season and the hype that they've had in the preseason being an AP top 25 team in the country, um, man, it's just, it, it's just a lot of people haven't been behind them the whole way through. Yeah. But I think we're slowly starting to see Dayton fans come together and say, why not this year? Why not us, right? Who's going to go out us. there and, 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 you know, just – Let's go win an A-10 championship because this is the year. And I think talent-wise and, you know, just just grittiness, right? Yeah. I, think, I mean, we I know talent-wise we're a top 25 team. Yeah. I mean, we were ranked that without playing any games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, and you guys are even saying, too. We just need to find that flow and just, like, play like that. Like, we're a top 25 team. Right. Let's blow St. Joe's out of the water today. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's show them that we're – this top five, like this team that should be making an easy tournament run. Yeah, and I think, again, VCU is the favorite. I watched them play against Davidson. They looked really well. And the key to beating VCU good. is taking care of the basketball. It's that simple. Date, uh, VCU forces, uh, I believe it's it's 24%, 24.5% of their opposing team's possessions are turnovers. And that's wow. fifth in the NCAA. They're a great defensive team, and so are the Flyers. And if somehow those two teams were to face in the final, I think it'd be a low-scoring game. But not only you know do you have to take care of the ball against VCU and on that side of the bracket, but just Dayton Flyers in general. We just got to mm-hmm. take care of the ball. Yeah. Um, and you know they've shown what they can do when they do take care of the ball, and that's win by 20 against teams like St. Joe's, LaSalle, yeah. and even Fordham, who's the three seed. Yeah. Um, just so much potential. And uh, again, I do see, I do have confidence, and I do believe that the Dayton Flyers are going to win the A-10 tournament because you know this is the year, and this that's is the like year to hear, where this, this program <laughs> turns around. And uh, I'm I'm super excited, and it's going to be a good game. And everybody should tune in today at 5 o'clock. Um, Shortly after our show. Yeah, where you'll see the Dayton Flyers take on, um, I'm blanking, sorry. SJU? This, yeah, the St. Joseph Hawks. <laughs> Dane wins the Lynn Greer, yeah. Lynn Greer University. And I'm sure that their Hawk will be there. Just yeah. Oh, yes. Great mascot. Oh, yes. I forgot about it. Oh, my God. Great sorry, mascot. sorry, sorry. That, that guy is <laughs> one of my favorite. Years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the St. Joe's mascot He's one, yeah. so he much. Wipes really? the flyer. Dude, I he think cracks me. He cracks awesome. me up. All he does. Oh my god, it's iconic. I think we're watching he was at the game. game. <laughs> well, you were at yeah. the game when he was there. And me and my so dad are funny. like this uh, close to the TV. Yeah. My and you can just like, see him. And, and then my brother comes in. and My brother's like, "Oh yeah, he flaps the whole time." Because <laughs> they're in like a high time. school gym, and you just see you just see him there. 
There he he is. looks like he hates his life, man. He's just always going like. It's iconic. But it is it's iconic. Is. They better never change him, it. Though. That kid's not getting paid enough, man. It is. No, mm-hmm. no matter what he's getting paid, it's not. <laughs> no, that's an paid. arm workout, man. That's a serious workout. You're doing that for like what two and a half hours, roughly. Like I think it's uh, non He's switching it up. Yeah, no, he's a beast. I mean, shout out to whoever. I heard they the switch him out at halftime. Do they? Mm, no. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, Imagine. Great stuff, Well, though. he's got to go to the locker room and keep flapping him. <laughs> yeah. The coach the is like, so he pulls the team down. Half time talk, he's still there in the locker room, nodding. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's awesome. And, you know, we'll probably see him a little bit of him today at 5 o'clock. Yeah. And or, be, or a lot. <laughs> yeah, probably, Hopefully a lot. He'll probably be in the corner just standing by himself. And it's like, hey, look at the hawk. I mean, he's iconic. Let's be real. <laughs> you think that kid practices, man? He's just around campus going like this. You <laughs> know? In his room? Like, let's, let's work. I, on I would, man. He's got to be, like, one of the most popular people on campus. Well, actually, when it comes to mascots people don't know I was gonna say yeah, it, it's know. like a rule where and even graduation that's a huge thing um, with mascots really across the country is that at graduation I, I believe you know I don't know if it's Virginia Tech but there's a few other universities where on graduation the person who's behind the mascot because nobody knows them they don't tell anybody reveal. brings like either their feet I believe they wear like the shoes that the oh, mascot would wear, or, or something or, like, else. a helmet, and stuff costume, like that. Because yeah. that's cool. like they don't go out and saying, "Oh, I'm the mascot," because it's always like a super secret thing for most colleges. I was gonna say not here across that's the good. country. I don't think so, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know about here. Um, I will say, I, I don't know if I should be saying this, but I did see who was behind the mask. Me too. In the tunnel Dayton. at a Dayton game. Yeah, it was just oh, some girl. You? When I, you know yeah. who it is, right? It's a, I, I don't know who it should, is. Can I say? No, no you don't shouldn't. say the oh, name. Oh, okay, okay. No, but never, I think, let's I not think we all I know who it was last year. Um, funny stuff. It's super cool. Yeah. But, uh, I would love to. Yeah. I think that's a, a that's great job a to have. Great gig. You're right. I mean, you're right there, and nobody needs to know it's even you. One of my teachers in grade school was the blob at Xavier. You know really? who the blob is? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. I think I've, yeah. I know. That's it's, awesome. it's a Cincinnati thing. Uh, you know, it's iconic. If you know, you know. That's super cool. Um, but yeah, Dane Flyers in a great position to win the A-10 tournament. And, you know, we'll all be rooting them for sure. And oh, yeah. I think it's all just positivity and peace peace and love. Go Flyers. Mm-hmm. So go Flyers. Oh, sorry. This just in. My dad, my dad is still listening. Shout out to my Awesome cousin. shout out. He said that, <laughs> wow, the kid who... Oh, I remember my dad actually bringing this up. Sorry. The the kid who's the mascot of SJU, not to go back to it, but he's on full scholarship. Oh, so for, oh. for being the mascot. Yes. Kate Newell just texted me that. Shout out Kate Newell. She just texted me that the same thing. She went on a tour there and she said and that they, they get free tuition. Yeah, for being That's the mascot. Awesome. For being the mascot. That's awesome. Look at and our sources. Look at that. Really, That's like, crazy. So they're right on it. We, Shout out so to them. Yeah. Um, but that's like, that's awesome. I yeah. think I would totally do that. That's sweet. Totally. That's yeah, for free school. Just for free school, I'll go to Alaska. And to be, not even just nah, that, to be at know. every game. Mm. Yeah, right. To be on the Front court row, for every game. Eyes all on you, right? Right. Mm. Yeah, You're the center of attention. Exactly. He's honestly more iconic than their program. Yeah. I was thinking about it though, like, you don't really, I guess you don't like talk, so you just gotta like communicate with your body like crazy. Yeah. You gotta be like a firecracker. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Funny. Um, we don't have too much time here on Three Birds and One Stone. Oh, uh, wow. But time I, we will, obviously, you know, we're going to get into our final segment, and we will take a quick break before we do that, um, which is, you know, our Stone of the Week. And mm-hmm. I, I'm sure we've all been, everybody think stone about it, get, get start to thinking. <laughs> but I do want to talk a little bit about Miss Shelby. Um, obviously, you know, it's spring. Coming up to crunch time with the end of school, and it's crazy. It's it's flying by as you know spring break starts, uh, you know this weekend. But rumor has it, it's not a rumor because it's the truth, and it's just <laughs> super great news that you have an internship with the New York Yankees. I do have an internship. So cool, great Ho- news. Hopefully, um, right now I'm in like the stage of the process where background check mm-hmm. is happening, and. Knock on wood. I would hope that would come yeah, back. Yeah, like, uh, I hope um, But yeah, I'll be doing. I'll be a junior summer sales intern there. Hopefully, nice. if everything works out, fingers crossed. Um, so I'll be commuting every day. Yankee Stadium. That's I'll be awesome. there. Every, it's awesome. And I just actually found out too that one of the girls who is um, from Puerto Rico here. Mm. She's actually living in the Bronx this summer. Wow. And so she was like, "We can hang out all the time." So I was you, like, "Yeah, you we need can." A place to stay or something. Um, but yeah, so I'll be commuting there. I don't know how yet. I can. I. I really could drive or take the train, on that, but um, that's for a later date to figure out. Yeah. And so, basically, it's like a team of ten, just uh, either junior or senior standing college kids who come in. They have like a two week onboarding process, mm. and then um, they just work to to follow and replicate what the sales department does throughout the year, basically. And one thing that I think is super interesting is when I went when I um. 
initially had, you know, expressed interest in this. I'm thinking season season passes, season tickets to, you know, big <laughs> right. companies. Naturally. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. you know, these big, large corporations who are in New York, that's who I'm going to be. You can sell anything. Mm-hmm. So you could sell merch. I could sell hats if I wanted to. Like, yeah. it, I don't have to ever even touch tickets. Like, they want you to dibble dabble in each, but if I don't want to sell that, like, if I don't want that to be my project, I don't have to do that, which I think is really cool. Um, I had found out about it because my brother's good friend, is one of the top salesmen there wow. for the Yankees. That's awesome. Yeah, That's cool. he's got a great a great like resume and background. But um, so he started off as a junior summer sales intern a few years ago, and he loves it there. Like the company culture, just everything is just exactly what you want. Yeah, and. You know that that's not that's not up my alley really. Like I enjoy sports, but I'm not like like you all are. Di- you're all in. I'm mm-hmm. not like that. And so I was kind of like iffy about it at first, but now that I'm like look, I was looking back. I was like, as somebody who you know I do want to own my own business one day. I was thinking, do I intern this summer? You know, do I just try to start my own thing? Right. Then I'm I'm super interested in like textile sustainability. You know, mm-hmm. I'm a sustainability minor, and I'm like. Maybe I should do something for a large clothing company. You know, my dad has connections. My dad worked in Manhattan his whole, you know, yeah. since he started working. That's awesome. And so, you know, he has buddies and he's reaching out to them. And I'm just like, why not work for the Yankees? Like, is that not the coolest is thing? Is it not the yeah. coolest thing? Right. And so I reached out to the head of the sales department myself, mm. found him on LinkedIn. Creepy. And <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> creepy. That's what it's all about. I, I, I reached out to him, you know, got in a call with him, whatever expressed interest he was super impressed with like my resume my background from here which was awesome because i don't know who i'm competing against whatever and then he just calls me one day i hadn't even applied yet mm. was was what really like i think not to toot my own horn but that was really what i think set me apart because mm-hmm. i just kept pushing it to him emailing him you know right, thank you so you much because then he's like i'm gonna put you in contact with somebody else Finally, just calls me one day. I'm like getting ready for class, like out of the shower. You're like, hey. And he's like, and he's, and it was a Super Bowl weekend. He's like, yeah, it was your Super Bowl. And he's asking me about the commercials. And I'm like, oh, he's trying to butter me up, tell me, right. you know, like we already have our team. Yeah, you know, like I really just was super impressed. Well, why I'd want to offer you the position. I was freaking out. My yeah. dad, and then I'm calling my dad. Oh my God, she has to go to the Bronx every day, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Bronx. Yeah. Oh my God, she has to go. And then my mom, well, it's a great opportunity, blah, blah. And it was just like this whole big thing. But I think my, I, my whole family is super, super excited for right. me, which is nice. Um, but I'm just excited to get my 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 toes dipped in sales. Mm. Right. Because sales is, is, that's really the hardest thing you can do in the business world. I mean, unless you're an accountant or things like that. Right. But, but if it's, I mean, that's really the hardest thing in any big, large franchise like that is sales. Mm -hmm. And they're not, that's like an arduous kind of process to go through. Like, they're not going to take you if they don't want you. You know, that kind of Mm -hmm. thing. Like, they're not even going to settle for you, that kind of thing. And so I'm just excited to get my toes there, see what goes on, that kind of thing. for the Yankees, man. For the Yankees. You can definitely sell me season tickets to the Yankees Uh, right now. I think they might be a little expensive, but if you have that kind of money. I don't know, (laughs) I don't know if you paid attention, but they're pretty good at baseball. I don't know if you heard (laughs) about that. They're pretty well known. This guy named Aaron Judge. Arson Judge, man, just having a season. This guy named Aaron Judge, he's okay. He's not, he's he's all right at baseball. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked. That's awesome, and congratulations. Thank that's, you. That's super exciting. I'll have to keep you guys like updated. Yeah. And then next year, I'll have to come back on and tell you about my experience. Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm excited for yeah. too, is to like be able to even like the school of business. Like here, they do um like a whole bunch of internship like stuff with like the social media advertising. And mm-hmm. I already put in for it. I was like, when I come back, I want to talk about this because even if even if I find out it's not my thing, like I just think it's gonna be a cool experience for anybody. Even if you're not a business yeah. major, even if you're not interested in sales, just, just telling just, other people about just it. Just telling other people about what goes on and yeah. how because I, I mean it really is such an admirable company too. Like everybody knows the New York Yankees. You know what right. I mean? Right, absolutely. So their their processes and their operations cannot be the same as any other company. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like even any even the Mets. Just like the reputation, the reputableness of the Yankees. So, mm. yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think it'll be interesting. And I think it'll be good, too, because I'll learn a lot just about, like, the Yankees in general, like, oh, yeah. all the yeah. history and stuff. And I'll be at the stadium. Right? Which is oh, so cool. So Taking cool. selfies. I, I love <laughs> Yankee Stadium. It's, it's a oh, great it's place. iconic, man. So, New York. It's, mm. it's, it's mm. nuts. I mean, it's nothing. It's like nothing else. I was going to really. say, there's, no, there's nothing like it that. It is kind quite of unique. Atmosphere. And, yeah. you know, just... Staying a busy bee over the summer, it's awesome. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm sure yeah. you're going to enjoy yourself yeah. some summer baseball, too. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Probably going to learn a lot more. Well, they actually do their their training is down in my, uh, Miami, uh, yeah, Florida. Yeah, in Florida, yeah. So when I was originally looking, 
I'm seeing all this stuff in Florida, and I'm like, wait a second, like I could have sworn. So I don't wait, think, I think that. In New York. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. The New York Yankees got to be. <laughs> and so um, they were telling me a little bit about it over the phone, though. Like you work with them from a distance too, mm. like because you have to know everything that's going on with the players. When they're in on order the road. To, yes, and in oh, order to cool. sell, if yeah. you're trying to sell tickets, you still need to know what's going on in training. So right. yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's super awesome. And Thanks. congratulations, Shelby. Thank that's, you. that's such great news. And again, we we definitely want to keep up to date on yeah. that because that's just such a cool gig um, and man just staying at you busy bee busy and bee. that's what we, we love that we love yeah. the bird hey, there are our Academic stone weapon. right that's that same mentality weapon, our, our you know? stone is flying away she's she's becoming <laughs> the one wings of us are the she's leaving the nest <laughs> right. absolutely but we're going to take a quick break here ladies and gentlemen on WDR don't leave though we'll be right back here for our final segment of the day our stone of the week <laughs> again you're listening to WUDR date we'll be right back after the break. Hey, father, father, we don't need to escalate. You see, war is not the answer, for only love can comprehend. Don't punish me with brutality Talk to me so you can see Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to WUDR here on Flyer Radio. It's Dayton ninety nine point five. I'm Joel Soul, went alongside my partner, Money Mitch and Wags, and our Stone of the Week, Miss Shelby. Welcome yes, back. Sir. Welcome back to the crew. And again, you're listening to WUDR here, and it is our final segment here on Three Birds in One Stone. And everybody knows our special fans out there. Our final segment of the week it is our Stone. Of the week. Oh, yeah. And we have had a great time with our stoner here. It's in been the a corner. great show. <laughs> she has been, awesome, man. She has been fantastic. Thanks for having me. It's been I love so it. Fun. This is awesome. It, it's and it's been a great. great. You have this nice little view of outside. Mm-hmm. Nice yeah. to see. I wish it was a little bit warmer. It's, it's, yeah, well, yeah, just a tad, but hey. Got some sunshine. Yeah. It oh, yeah, is a little absolutely. sunny. That's all you can ask for. Right? Yep, yep, Especially, yep, you know, in the Midwest and times like these. Um, so, yeah, everybody that knows, uh, we have our stone of the week, which is basically go around and give, you know, 
uh, just a little insight on something that's been on our minds, whether mm-hmm. it's, you know, a story that happened to themselves, or something that's been going on and, you know, in the world or just some advice, whatever floats our boat. And uh, it, it's definitely been a fun segment. You know, we had that nice little segment with Aaron from Cousin oh Vinny's. Oh, my gosh. That was great a great time. one, too. And Did just, he come on? We yeah. had a we did a podcast episode with That's him. That's awesome. Yeah. So he didn't. We weren't in here. We were in. Uh, we Kettering. need to post that on the gram. We do. We will post that today. Yep. Yeah. And again, ladies and gentlemen, you can follow us on Instagram. Three birds, one stone. The one is a number. Uh, so make <laughs> the sure the number you tune in. one yeah. because you're the number Amen. one. Yeah. 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 She got, on, right. she got it right. Amen. <laughs> Three seven five. Uh, so yeah, we appreciate everybody for tuning in. So let's get into it. Our final segment. Does anybody want to start, Shelby? I don't want to. Does push it have you to be like happy thoughts? Absolutely not. It could be anything. It could be whatever floats your boat. Okay. Do you want to start? Yeah, I'll start. Let's hear it. Okay. Let's hear it. So, I hope this is like what I'm supposed to, the alley I'm supposed to go up. But lately I've been, you know, I'm a busy bee. And so I've mm. just been going at it just every day. I mean, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. There is no way that okay. just happened. Well, that's hilarious. with it the whole time. No, that's okay. That's not your fault. Oh, wait, I see the screw. Hold on. Uh, so for those wow, wondering, never, time, shall we just that. Uh, that is not broke the mic off? <laughs> Um, you, you don't yeah, have to chilling, fix it if you don't chilling. want to. Well, no, wait, I see it. It's because I've been playing with it the whole time. No, it's not. Oh, should we go play that? It's really funny. I got it. We're experiencing <laughs> that was so Do you know how to fix it? Can you fix it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If not, that's okay. Wait. Wow, that is insane. Let her cook. I'm telling you, it's not your fault. This studio is old as Very dirt. Old. Okay, I got it. It's oh, fixed. Wow. Gee. You can hear me? Yeah. Look at that. Good stuff. There we go. Wow, that was crazy. crazy. Look, Great I'm start. Great trouble. Like, that reminds me of when I took the the bathtub off the roof, uh, or not the bat, the swimming pool off oh, the roof, and had to fix it myself. <laughs> oh yeah, it's funny. Try it's to. just so fun to play with this mic. The setup of it I just know. like goes back and forth <laughs> so perfectly. I know, and I just okay. So I'll keep my hands on. Go ahead. <laughs> but so anyway, um, Sunday super busy day. Monday super busy. And when I mean busy, like I wake up six forty five. I'm going to the gym. Trying to get in a little workout so, you know, I feel a little better. Going to class all day, going to work, going to dance, doing it all. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm awake from 6.45 until, like, midnight. Just yeah. going. And, and then I wake up the next day, do it again. And that was that's, like, my usual week. But I've just been so drained lately that, like, yesterday hit. And it just, like, all hit me at once. Oof. And we canceled practice for dance, thank God. And it just hit me. And I was like, I am so tired. I laid in bed. Like, like, a, like, a, like I shriveled up in bed. Blanket, hoodie, everything. From when I got home, which was like 6 o'clock, until I went to bed. I didn't move. Ooh, and what I did last night, this nice. this was where I was getting at, was I watched, I don't know if you guys watched this, on Netflix, The Murdoch Mystery. I've heard of the, Star the, the, the Murdoch Mystery. Mis- the, the Murdoch Murder Mystery yeah. is what it is. Uh-huh. And so basically it's about this family in South Carolina, I think they are. And, and there's just like these murders just like tied to their family and the right. family just has this crazy history i'm not going to get into it you should absolutely watch. it was it's like three, the craziest story that's happening was, i right mean now. It, I, yeah. and i love like watching those document those I docuseries doc. on, right on netflix and so I, I was eating it up obviously i was like right. i gotta watch this and so right. i finally had the time to just lay and sit there and shrivel up and watch it and i was watching on my phone and my phone i was this close to my face i'm just glued in yeah there are three 50 minute document like little documentaries you have got to watch it. I mean, mm-hmm. just insane. I'm going to go watch it again, probably, yeah. just because there's so many details on it, and it's just so interesting. I've heard and it's so like you, a train reaction. I like, mean, isn't it, it just is like in, there's so many pieces to it that's just insane. like, how that did this awesome. happen? Well, it starts off with, um, like, the son of the family, a death that he caused right. like, in a boating accident yes, that's what with I the heard. girl. And that's what I originally thought it was all about, was this, this girl who passed away, which, I mean, I was sobbing in bed. Right. Right. And... So that's what I originally thought it was about. And I was like, wait, that's only one episode. And then the second episode starts. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, it just starts up and it just starts unraveling. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. it's insane. So you guys should definitely watch it if you get the chance. That's awesome. Yeah. Pete told me that your guys' spring break location is not too far from where some of those murders went down. They, They had a house. In Adisto Island, Adisto oh, Island. Oh, what? Yeah. Bad juju. So, so we want to go and and um. You should stop by. And see. I know, I know. That's it's awesome. definitely interesting though for every for anybody. Just I mean, three fifty minute. You know, when yeah. you get ready in the morning, whatever. Right. I watch it. Super interesting, and it just makes you realize like every small town. Yeah. got that little bit of what the heck goes on yeah. you know what I mean the story like, oh, yeah. the crazy story that's mm-hmm. awesome thank you Shelby that was, that thank was a great story. thank you for stone. letting me share that, that was an that amazing was a- story <laughs> thank <laughs> you for getting us started I appreciate it Mitch you want to go ahead my stone ties kind of directly to the end of her story but my stone is definitely spring break being this up 
excuse me, sorry, this upcoming week. I'm very excited and looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Shelby, me and Shelby, the only two here right now going on it, but it's going to be a very good but time. But they were invited. They were invited. They, they were invited. <laughs> 19 people are going on this trip to fit in a nice little 14-person Airbnb um, that we did tell them the truth about our age, which is nice to know. Yes, yeah. That we are going there legally. Um, but it should be a very good time. I'm excited. I'm excited just to bro out with all the homies and... Just honestly, even the road trip part. Bro I, out. We're going to bro out we're with the homies. Yeah, and and awesome. I'm, I love a good road trip, man. And those are always fun. Not looking forward to get up at 6 a.m. in two days. So that's a little scary. To drive, yeah. But, but other it'll, be, than, it'll be fun. It'll be oh, yeah. But other than that, it's going to be a blast. And I just can't wait to get on the beach. Uh, Hang out. Yeah. Relax. Get some pina coladas. I want a pina colada <laughs> real bad. Yeah, that's awesome. Seafood. The seafood's probably going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm some excited. Good seafood. Maybe a little barbecue. Some, some hush mm-hmm. puppies. Oh, yeah. I want some. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Happy spring break, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Happy yeah. Happy spring break. Wes, go ahead, boss. Yeah, you know, different different mood here a little bit. Not not too different, but uh, we just wrapped up midterms. You know, everyone was working hard, getting after. I mean, we know Shelby's a busy beast, so she's definitely, <laughs> definitely working hard. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I think everyone was uh, had a tough time. Maybe not everyone, but it's, it's just a lot of work. You know, it's stressful and I think sometimes in those moments, you know, you just need some love and you need someone to tell you maybe, you know, I'm proud of you. Yes. Uh, you don't always get that a lot. And sometimes, you know, you got to dig deep and you got to find that I'm proud of you, Wags. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm proud of you, guys. I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. And, man, we, we sit here every week and it's just, we, we come to this last segment. And, again, Wags delivers night in, <laughs> oh, night yeah. out, day in, day out. He is Motivational. The, I mean, Motivational. he's a genie here, right? He's, he's unbelievable. And you don't I mean, expect we, it. And you don't, you don't yeah. expect but it. But it's the oh, quotes. I, I expect it's, it. You know, it's just the love, right? Blood is thicker yeah, than water. He's full of love. Blood is thicker than water. I like to love. I'm a loving. Not a we, we appreciate it, Wags, and oh, and again, another just heart, heart loving stone. You need uh, that sometimes, you know. Absolutely, you can be down sometimes, so it's, no, so it's tough. But you're I'm, so I'm right. proud of everyone here, you know. Absolutely, and and I love that. Um, that's awesome. For my final stone of the week, uh, it's March, man, and you know, great sports are happening. Uh, good weather's coming up. It's that time of the year. Um, that's time and, of the year. But it also is a very important month, as yesterday was Happy International Women's Day. The, the um, best day. Of the year. the best West, day. Yeah. It, it's just a great day. Shout out all, all the women out there. <laughs> For real. You know, I just I just For want real. everybody to you know take a step back and kind of just appreciate all the women, whether it's you know mom, grandmother, girlfriend, wife, and anybody. Girl um, boss. It's just kind of yeah, girl, girl <laughs> Every boss. Girl Boss. Yeah, it, it's just super. It's just such a special day, just to appreciate um, all the women who you just have impacted all of our lives. And uh, man, it, it was just you know, it's a, it's a great time for sure. And mm. um, it, it's just it's, I don't know, man. I just it makes my heart sing. It just, makes, yeah. I just appreciate uh, everybody and uh, all the love again. Absolutely, and especially and coming into spring know, break. It's you know? Women's Month too. And yeah, it's Women's Month. Yeah, three birds and one stone to stay true to that, as we've had only women in the month and of in March. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As our, as our stone. Yeah. Hopefully, Allie Berkey can maybe come on if oh, she you know, finish the month out strong. Yeah, hey, she actually has a lot of. Int- I mean, she could talk about the Dayton area for. Yeah, years. she's great insight, and I believe she's in class right now. Well, Hopefully, let's, let's not hyper her ego up too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we all we like to you know claim that we're all academic weapons here, but maybe she can skip a class or two to try and <laughs> attend. Right. Um. But yeah, it's just it, it's such a great time, and and sh- you know that wraps up our show. Shelby, thank you so much oh, for yeah. joining. Oh yeah. Thank you. Shelby. Thank you for Always having a me. Pleasure. Such a great episode. I'm so glad. I thank you for having me. I'm so glad I finally yeah. got to come. I've been waiting because, Let's go. I, <laughs> yeah. because I always, I always am listening, like in between my classes, and I, I finally got to come. It's just, it's like, it's I will true. be back. Yes, I'll absolutely. Have to be back. And you, you know, you can whenever come back you whenever you want. Yeah. I mean, it's just well, such a special. When we do episode. our spring break episode, maybe, maybe I'll have a ton of stones with me, Joe. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. We just yeah. live stream, maybe. I think we're, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. So yes, we do have spring break next week, and I believe we might try and do some Instagram live stuff next that'd be Thursday. Fun. So again. Follow us on Instagram. Three birds, one stone. The one is, is the number. number. And again, we, you can see our content. Um, obviously, you can't see our faces right now, but you'll be able to see all of our faces as we get some pictures handsome, in here. Handsome, we'll, handsome. We'll post handsome. on Instagram and stuff like that, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so definitely make sure to tune in as we'll try and keep the content going uh, throughout the spring. But Shelby, thank you again. Such, thank you. Again, another great episode of Three Birds and One Stone. We will not be back next Thursday, but we will be back after the week after that. But again, Instagram, keep us up and, and you know check us out as we'll be keeping up good content for everybody then thank you so much for listening and we will be back in two weeks here on three birds in one one two three go
Waking up in a dream, sleepwalking on another big stage. You never heard peace till you hear people scream. Your name and you're the son, I'm so far away from the place I used to be. Struggling usually, look at the new of me, fate pursuing me. I can feel the energy in the air, it feel like I'm supposed to be here. Everywhere I go, I'm getting so much love, from fans and stars, everyone. So good at what you do Help somebody else get through That's why I do the best I can Because I know how blessed I am I'm so high I can't touch the sky I know it's my time And it's now or never Shine so bright I light the night And it feels so right Think nothing better A fool if I take it off of granted a smart man if I keep my feet planted to the earth Cause the people that hurt can understand it You speaking outlandish, I'ma show you how to make it all work Another planet is a short term goal for me A record soul for me, it's just more of me And you're here, for you to hear Kendrick Persevere, defenses I fear relentless Ambition with a clear vision Taking off, I ain't taking off these pistons I'm taking off on the enemy, your distance Came across me, how much it'll cost me To get you out my business I said a planet is a short term goal No sky is the limit, I'm past that, now past that award not one but four times two plus yours i see myself performing that okay, sold out shows where the room is packed uh -huh. sitting at the grammys winning five awards see myself on big billboards traveling around the world with endorsement deals can't imagine how it feels That's why i'm smiling every day because my dream ain't Looking at me and you tell me I'm blessed Calculated my steps, my heart, my breath Breathe lungs of a victory and vividly You see me when I'm at my best My worst is first Dedicated to the days that I slept With a curse, research my pay dues I'm reimbursed, I burst in the crowd With a voice and a crown I'm a king on the prowl And I see mama smile And a vow I'ma take that I'll never break You can break bread with me now We can all take a bow On the edge of the pedestal And scream out loud That we made it off the avenue And walk that mile In the darkness I often sit back And get lost in the rap that I wrote When you talk Told me that it spoke to your soul I was talking to you I was walking it through Every ghetto Tell success Hello We here And I'm so happy I cry Cause I can't believe All the things I ever wanted Are finally happening for me And it's so surreal That I almost feel That any minute I could wake up From this fantasy When you pray so hard And you've come so far And you know This is Lauren and you are listening to 